Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, beautiful people. I thought, I thought we were way too late for a stream. I thought, no way we're streaming this late. There's 24 of you beautiful people in here. This is awesome. Uh, welcome, everybody. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Welcome to the first live stream in a while. You guys have not seen me stream for quite some time, so this is a really exciting thing to see here. So first of all, thank you for everybody showing up. Today, we are going to be doing something that I've wanted to do in Modern Warfare Zombies for quite some time, and that is help you guys out, get some schematics, maybe some uh, story missions completed, all the good stuff here. Uh, but... Unfortunately, you know, Modern Warfare 3, you can only have two people in your game other than you. So we have two people here. We have Ice and we have uh, Anti-Hero here. Uh, we are going to be doing the Red Worm first. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, Mr. L. Welcome, Mario, Old Fox, everybody in here. My goodness, this is great. Um, yeah, so we're going to be doing that first. I'm going to get right to it. The thing that I need you guys to do right away is I want you guys to let me know how the audio is, how the video is. Are we lagging? Are we at a good audio rate here? My goodness, it sounds like we're doing pretty good to me. I think we're doing all right. And I think we should be ready here. Um, yeah, we got wait, an anti-hero here. Uh, but how are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? This has been a fun stream. Donuts, welcome. Uh, time for Logan, Alter Ego, Black and Blue, how's everything going? My face matches my voice. Ah, that's good to know. Sometimes sometimes that doesn't happen. Xbox headset, how's it going? G-Money, welcome everybody. Eating tacos after your last match, don't worry. Audio sounds great. Donuts, you donut. I'm such a donut sometimes. Very good, alright. Well, cool. I'm going to be using the new SMG. Hey, AJ, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Tori, audio sounds great. Thank you, Tori. Thank you for being here. Some OG people in the chat here. Oh my goodness. And this endless pistol, the bestie. How's it going, everybody? New SMG is awesome. I'm really excited to use it. Um, I, I, It's one of my, I, I love the high rate of fire SMGs. And after using the FTAC Siege on my last video, I'm like, I need to get that gold next. <laughs> Arctic Thunder, how's it going? Raj, Kai, when did you start really getting into Zombies Donuts? That's a great question. Um, first time I tried to get... Well, actually, I have a funny story about Zombies. I'm going to need to research this thing. Sometimes the search is weird. With Party. Ooh. There we go. Um, I first saw Zombies in the World at War campaign after the World at War campaign. Um, Tori doesn't have any idea about zombies, yeah. Uh, but I had the Wii version of World at War, so that didn't have any zombies. So my first experience was playing 5 after I beat the Black Ops 1 campaign, uh, and then playing... But I was too terrified, I didn't really actually do it. Michael does stuff! How's it going, Michael does stuff? The best zombie player in the chat right now. Um, but then I played Kino with my friend, but we were kind of dumb, didn't know how to open doors, didn't know we could open doors, so we just never opened doors. <laughs> and then... In Black Ops 2, I got frustrated with multiplayer, went to town, uh, and learned zombies through town. I liked Die Rise, believe it or not, and then Mob of the Dead came out, and uh, that was so complicated, that was so confusing. Oh my goodness, zombies should just be super simple, and um, yeah, Ermac, welcome to the stream. So I didn't like Mob of the Dead, got out of it, then Shadows of Evil came in, and... I fell in love with zombies in Black Ops 3. Shadows of Evil, Darius and Draha, all the stuff. It's It was fantastic. So, rocking out in the donut mobile. Yeah, let's do it. New SMG is mean with pack 3 blue tool. Absolutely. Uh, Doken, and, and by the way, you will not find a worse person, a worse YouTuber, who cannot say people's usernames. So, I sincerely apologize about my pronunciation. It is horrible, I guarantee you. Um... Glad to see my success. Well, thank you, Ermac. I remember, Ermac, you and I, you and I, Ermac, were like the only two people who believed in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. We were the only ones. Uh, so it's great to see uh, the success that we've had here. Um, gave you a like. Oh, thank you for the like. Uh, I wish you had more subs. Oh, we are, I am happy with the amount of subs I have. I mean, obviously, more and all this stuff. I want to serve you guys a little bit, but um, are you, uh, are you painting a room? No, it's just, it's the lights. I'm, I need to get better a better lighting situation. 
tell Activision they're fit to fix their game. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Unicorn Queen, well, how's it going? You love Die Rise too, Doggo? Yeah, it's um, it can be frustrating at points. I think it can be it could be fun. It has its its fun uh, about it, but the maneuverability is uh <laughs> really um. Oh look, hey, they're doing the Dark Ether too. It has its pinch points, but that's that's every zombie map. That's everything. Um, I watch you all the time, although I don't talk much. I love your videos. You help me so much. Oh, thank you. I think that's Brett. Brett Campbell. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, now I am worried about all of our connections here, but so far it feels pretty, pretty good. All right, so from my understanding, I think I need to go here, and we just, again... You're seeing this live, right? Sometimes y'all, sometimes y'all beautiful people in the comment section always say I got the best luck, and it's it's true because I do have the best luck. Um, but a lot of these lobbies, you know, we've got um, we've got to uh, <laughs> um, prove that it's not just it's not just luck. It's just kind of how it is. All right, and so we've we've uh, we've devised a plan here in in the background before the game actually came or we launched the stream here. Uh, I'm, I am going to be on foot, whereas Antihero is going to be the OP one here with the Scorcher. But, um, yeah, appreciate you donuts. I need to stream with Beebs. I do need to stream with Beebs. I don't know if Beebs wants to stream with me. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to epic ether tool this. Oh, thank you, Antihero. Let's go, Ice. Let's go. <laughs> I, when uh, when Mod Warfare Zombies came out, uh, playing with Beebs, speaking of Beebs, it was funny. I was like the designated driver. I was the one like, all right, here's where we're going to go. Here's how we're going to do it. And, oh, is that the one? Oh, where's What building? I think it's this building. All right, all right, we'll get out of here. Sometimes I forget which building it's in. Oh, yeah, it's this one. It's this one. All right. Now, this one, you guys might have to help me remember it, this here. Um, here's man. Oh, hey, thank you for the $20. Thank you so much. That's incredibly generous. Hopefully we got that notification going on here, uh, but here we go. All right, now, if you don't know, if you've never seen the red worm, this is the first part of the Easter egg here. We have to look at these photos and we have to see, okay, that's tier one. Uh, I don't quite remember where that is quite yet. Actually, no, that is the, uh, that's the, um... Tier 2, I think that's the bank or the library or something down there. Uh, that's also uh, Tier 1, and then that is Tier 3. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, Antihero's gonna get top left and bottom right. Top left and bottom right. Okay. I am gonna get this guy. Alright. Now, I think... We're all smart. We all got 5,000 points. I am going to... This is great footage. I should have thought of this earlier. Uh, I am going to go to Urzikstan online. And I'm going to use the portal here. And I'm going to see where the nearest exit portal is. Cool. All right. Exit portal. I'm going to go here. Uh, <laughs> down here. And the up arrow. Very good. All right, Ice, let's go. Let's get it. This should take us on this building, and we should be right close to this guy. Very good. And that should be, I think this is the one that we're talking about. First time watching my me live? Awesome. Well, thank you. I don't stream very often. There's not a lot of time. A lot of times I'm like, how, how, uh, how much should I spend my time how much better could I spend my time than streaming, like, actually making a video? But, hey, we've got Charlie here, I believe. Uh, where else? Okay, he is going to go over there. Yep, perfect. Yep, I think we should go over there. Confirm it. Let's go. And, oh, oh, we've got it. We've got the chance to use the donut mobile. By the way, ha hello, everybody. We've got 200 people in here. 200 people. Welcome to the stream. Thank you, Tori, for stopping by. Thank you. We got the donut mobile. We're gonna go. Delta Wolf, how's it going? How have I been? It's been a minute. It has been a minute. I've been great. I've, I've been really good. Really busy between work and YouTube and all this stuff, but it's been really, really nice. 
Ooh, tons of new faces, absolutely. My videos are so fun to watch. Thank you. Thank you, Logan. Appreciate that. Oh, it's hard to drive. I just kind of want to just read chat. This is great. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Your boyfriend watched one of my guys and you scream, that's donuts. Yeah. It's weird. I've actually gotten recognized in, in game, which is something that I am not used to, and I was incredibly awkward about it, but it's really fun. You know what? Alright, there's too much stuff. <laughs> I can't concentrate. Uh, how's it going, random guy? Welcome to the stream. I do think I want... I think... Oh, no. I brought in a Tier 2 Pack-A-Punch, but we are going to need to grind out some contracts to get Tier 3 Pack-A-Punch. Let the parasocial relationships flow. Yes, let's go, Angelo. Oh, man. Been enjoying the Salmi's content from me? Thank you so much. Funny in my videos. Thank you. It's funny. I don't, like, think of myself as all that funny. Especially in real life, I am not that funny. But sometimes in videos, I say ridiculous things, and you guys latch onto it, and it's really fun. But I think we've got Alpha. And it looks like, let's see where Antihero's at. I think Antihero got tier 3 and he's on his way back over here. And look at all the people in tier 3. Okay. Um, well, let's go ahead. I'm going to ping that contract there. Best streaming voice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully now that we're in game, the audio quality is still as good as it needs to be. Oh, where did ice go? I swear you go. Oh, you're in there. Okay. How long have I been playing zombies for? Well, uh, really, I've been uh, really playing zombies since Black Ops 3, since Shadows of Evil, and really once Dorizon Draha released, I think that's when I really uh, turned into it, I guess. Uh, I had played it before. I appreciated it. I'd always really, really appreciated zombies players. I always, like, envied them and, you know... It was a completely different skill set for me. I was in awe of Syndicate and uh, NGT zombies who could just train and figure out these crazy Easter eggs. And I was like, man, I wish I had that skill set. I wish I could do that. And so in Black Ops 3, <laughs> I used to be a hardcore multiplayer guy. I used to really love multiplayer. No, anti-hero. Oh, he went down in tier one. Oh, he's got himself. Okay, all right, all right. Um, <laughs> I used to be a hardcore multiplayer guy, and, uh, it, it just frustrated me so much. It, it, it was really frustrating, and I was not, uh, good about it. And so, uh, going to zombies was something a little bit more calming, a little bit more uh, stable that I didn't have to, like, you know, lose my mind over. So I very much enjoyed uh, zombies a lot more than multiplayer and it is a lot more consistent even though I still do really want to be good at multiplayer by the way thank you all for being here we got 250 people in here this is awesome James James thank you so much for the two dollars James says donuts love your videos do you have a patreon I do not have a patreon uh, I couldn't, I, I, the honest, the honest answer is once you start charging people for, uh, you know, something, um, some sort of like product or whatever, it becomes a very serious thing. And I just don't have the time to develop a product that I think would be worth, you know, uh, selling for you guys. So I don't want to waste your guys' money or your time coming up with anything. So one day, if I ever go full-time YouTube, I definitely think that's well within the books for for what we can do but for now I'm just gonna keep it on the on the down low and and keep it a uh, little bit more close to the chest here ever thought about doing a stats video distance or squared link zombie speed person speed how long perks uh absolutely kind of hey we got a self revive and tombstone and this cool and anti-heroes already in the chat making that good advice there let's go ahead and do a quick contract over here red worm yes let's do it we do have 35 minutes to kill here you got work pooping 
That's great. That's great to know. I'm, I'm glad my life is better than I know that information now. Appreciate it. <laughs> Joseph, how's it going? What's up, Donuts? How's it going? Usually, usually I can read chat a little bit easier, but in Modern Warfare Zombies, I've noticed that I really have to pay attention to like where I'm going, where I'm driving, where I'm ground based, and kind of just do whatever. Yeah. What's the reason you called yourself Donuts? That's a good question. Well, if you couldn't tell already by the uh, donation alerts here, I'm a big Simpsons fan. Uh, very much uh, liked The Simpsons growing up, especially in that middle school, high school, prime of your life type of type of deal. And so uh, that was a big reason I called myself Donuts. And then uh, playing Xbox Live with Biebs, he was the one that called me Donuts instead of mm Donuts and everything. So. Uh, kind of just stuck. It worked out, and uh, yeah, it is funny. We've got a um, we've got a, a waffles. We've got a pizza. Now we've got a donuts. We're just a really hungry community. The zombies community is. Joey, Joey, thank you for the five dollars. I'd like to see World of War Zombies for today's systems. Sadly, on console, the lobbies are all hacked up, virtually unplayable. Uh, yeah, that'd be interesting. I I I love uh, Zombies Chronicles. That was really good. Um, but it's uh, I saw this picture on Twitter the other day of I think I don't remember who it was, uh, but it was like you know if Durizendraha had the HUD and the mechanics of Cold War and it was just this the HUD was just a big mess and it was so unimmersive and everything and that's something I feel like is gonna be a problem I think in in Gulf War Zombies uh, I really hope that they figure out a good way of integrating ooh. Uh, integrating the schematics or not schematics but the mechanics of cold war and all of the just different ways you can interact with the world in a nice concise hud elements and ui so that's that's hud and ui elements seem to be a big controversy in modern call of duties i don't know why it's so hard for people by the way thank you ice for driving this is great i can read chat now this is awesome uh miguel welcome to the stream clint welcome to the stream I find it's best to have the channel name be one recognizable word. Donuts works very well. Yes, absolutely. It was like mm, Donuts 21, and that was just so hard for people. So changed it. Very much happy that I changed it. Uh, Brian, what's it going? What's your thoughts on the stash size only increasing by 10? Or Bran, welcome Bran. Yeah. Also, will you do the schem uh, what do you think of the schematic cooldowns? Will be uh, do I think the schematic cooldowns will be substantial? Uh, unfortunately, I don't think the schematic cooldown is going to be enough for people. Um, I think a lot of people are going to be still unhappy with the schematic cooldown. That's a great question. Uh, but, I, I, you know, I think it's going to help with stuff like perks. I think, oh man, somebody, oh no, we got it. Okay, cool. I, yeah, I think it's going to help with, like, perks and... Um, the little tiny things like ammo mods, I guess, but the two and three day cooldown stuff, I I, I don't think it's going to be all that beneficial or all that uh, impactful. Um, can they bring back the Crystal Axe? That's not a bad idea. Sounds like a reason to change uh, if they're adding the new Dark Aether, in my humble opinion. Yeah, that actually sounds uh, really fun. Oh, I need to I need to kill three ether orbs. Well, actually, you know what? I don't really care. You know what? Let's go ahead and let's do this guy. A random, a random herd fan. Well, thank you for the five dollars again. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do this one. I think uh, HVTs are faster than uh, ooh, faster than a uh, cargo delivery contract. So that'll be good. Uh, <laughs> why did I just run into that guy? I don't know. Ah. James, thank you for the ten dollars. You guys are way too generous this stream. Thank you so much. Uh, when is the next Zombies podcast? Love the last one and the long form content. Uh, by the way, still think you should have a way we can support you through donations or something. Mimics. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I'll take care of this, guys. I'll take care of this. Oh boy, this is unfortunate. Yeah. All right. Very good. Okay, cool. Um, we need more Dark Aether weapons. I think the Chrysalax, not to get sidetracked, I apologize. Um, the Chrysalax is a fantastic idea. Are we... Oh. 
Well, uh, hello? Vindy, thank you for the five dollars. Where did this, uh, where did this mimic die? Uh, can I help you help others? Also love your voice, man. Your videos on the background when I go to sleep. Well, thank you. Oh, did we cancel the contract? I'm so confused right now. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. I apologize. <laughs> Um, we need more Dark Aether weapons. Yes, the Chrysalax, I think, would be perfect. I Especially for... <laughs> this is my favorite. This is my favorite alert. <laughs> yeah, uh, the Grease one. The Grease one's my favorite. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. Uh, grinding Tier 3, you will eventually get a Pack 3 crystal. Yes, absolutely. I found the, the Pack-a-Punch crystals are the most uncommon... Uh, things to get just anywhere. I think it's because, um, what you call it, you get points in game. So I think they don't weigh them very high, which I'm very much okay with. But it's something that, like, you know, you feel, oh my goodness, this is so rare. Let's, you know, hopefully we can get it and we can uh, save it. But ultimately, it's not all that valuable. Do we pick up that contract? Yeah, we did. Let's go. Were you invited to the dev call? I was not, unfortunately. Uh, I think maybe one day that would be really, that would, I would be honored if I could. Hey, zombies. But um, I, I don't think my, uh, my little old channel here is quite on their radar quite yet. But maybe one day uh, that would be, that would be a really cool dream of mine. To go to Treyarch or, you know, get invited to a dev call. That'd be really fun. Love the live stream. Thank you. Voice is dope. Oh, thank you so much. Free money contract. Free money contract. Yep. <laughs> you get lots of pack twos. Oh, that's really good. I, I hear a lot of people get a lot of pack a punch twos lately. You have a gun suggestion. Uh, I do have. You have a gun suggestion. Why am I driving right now? <laughs> uh, the Vel 46, the Modern Warfare 2 sub. A lot of Modern Warfare 2 weapons. Uh, seemingly are really good. I still need to use the M16. I still need to use like a bunch of Modern Warfare 2 guns. The FTAC Siege was one that was on my mind for quite a, quite some time. I just, I feel like I would get bored uh, if every single video was like, hey, look at this gun. Hey, look at this. Ooh, another self-revive. I'll take that. Juggernaug. I'll take that this time I'll so that I get Juggernaug for this worm boss fight. Uh, that would be awesome. Oh, man. Uh, let's see. What else do we got? We've got, um, let's, let's go up to here, you know? Oh boy. Um, how common is the raw Ethereum crystal schematic in tier two? I've done many contracts and still haven't gotten it. Uh, the schematic, oh, he's, he's got turned. Cool. Uh, the schematic itself is not super common. It's a 10% chance for schematics, which I think is just... For any threat level, I think that's a, t a flat 10% for anything. But then you factor in there's like five different schematics in tier two, so 10% times you know one in five, 20%. Like the amount of times you'll have to go through to get it is is random. So that's the RNG aspect of the schematic system, uh, which I am doing something before I do my tier three. Uh, uh, loot video here so I, I hope you guys are going to enjoy it it's kind of like a mini series that I have in mind um, but it's going to be I think a really fun one Daza thank you love the videos <laughs> Zero says face reveal I've actually had probably over a hundred plus uh, videos of my face on my channel so um, this is not quite a reveal, but definitely with all of the uh, attention that I've garnered lately, yeah, a lot of you guys have not seen any content with my face yet, so I think that's exciting for you guys. <laughs> Been watching your videos a lot. Are you still going to do the Red Worm after that match? Absolutely. Af absolutely. FR Advancer, absolutely. M13B, those are the two. The M13B, I loved the M13B back in the day, too. I thought that was really fun. Uh, just in multiplayer. I love, again, fast fire rate weapon, one of my favorites. Um, I wanted to mention, I feel like they're, if they're introducing the, a new Dark Aether map, adding the Chrysalax would make the story map more interesting. Um, 
from a story standpoint, I, I absolutely agree. I think that would be really fun. I loved that in Forsaken. Everyone's favorite was the Chrysalax, so that was awesome. You think the strategy, what do you think, or do you think the strategy will be to grind tier two when the schematic cooldown updates and get released because all the people in tier three? I don't know, man. That's what I do. You know, that's 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 what I do sometimes. Um, but it but it's hard. Uh, how many games are we gonna play? Probably two. It's kind of late, but there's a lot of you guys here. But um, I think that'd be awesome. Kevin, Kevin, thank you for the ten dollars. Appreciate what you do for the model for zombies community. Many of your vids have helped me to become a better player. Keep the positive vibes and doing what you're doing. Great stuff. Thank you so much. That is awesome, Casimir. Let's go. Um, death perception. That's awesome. Cool. Um, and a three plate vest. We all got golden armor because we're bosses in here. Um, I have not been dropping stuff Double for points. for my for my uh, teammates. I apologize. Yeah, I would do that. Let's do that contract for sure. Let's get it. Actually, do we have Dokabi here? No. Okay, I'm gonna try to beat these guys there. All right, I'm gonna use my favorite method here: oh. zip lining. And let me know uh, this. Obviously, you know I've not <laughs> streamed with this amount of people. Let me know if the. Uh, what you might call it, uh, Homer's woohoo is a little annoying because of the subscribers, and I could probably take that off for the next stream. That's probably what I'm going to do anyway, but uh, hopefully it's not too distracting. It's distracting me. What do you dislike more, stash limit or the cooldown on schematics? Definitely the stash limit. I think if the stash was uh, unlimited, I would like to see... <sighs> this is going to be controversial. I would almost rather have no schematics if um, <coughs> if we had an unlimited stash. I think that would be way more practical. I think that would be way more kind of DMZ-ish. Uh, the idea of schematics to me was kind of weird when I first heard it. Obviously, I kind of understand it with how much we use zombies uh, or in zombies. But yeah, the schematics always felt kind of weird for me. So I would love to see... That infinite kind of gobblegum-esque system where it's just infinite stash, infinite this, and you could just keep grinding forever and, and get what uh, whatever you wanted at any point you wanted. So, yeah, kind of a controversial opinion. Disciple, let's go! I feel like I haven't killed any zombies this game. Oh, this is going to be such a fun gun. I'm going to get this contract. Can we get a dono to get my man up to 50 bucks? No, that's okay. That's, that's all right, Delta Wolf. Calm it down. We're okay. We're okay. I love the woohoo, it's fine, yeah. Do you stream like this often? I do not, but I actually got a brand new computer because the last computer, if you watch, which you shouldn't, please don't do. Um, hi, finally get to see you live. Hey, thank you. Uh, uh, man, uh, Sinkai Sin? I, I'm so sorry with names, I'm so sorry. Um, but I, I recently got a new computer and this is why I was able to stream at, at this quality at this time because uh, if you watch some of my, my previous Modern Warfare Zombie streams, it is not this quality. It is choppy as all get out, and it was bad gameplay experience. So I was like, if I'm going to stream, I need a better computer. So that's exactly what I did. Oh, yes, we're going to go here. Um, have I gotten Borealis? Not yet. I've gotten most guns gold at this point, but I need to get uh, Zircon Scale, and I think I'm just missing, like, pistols... Uh, the Riveter, because I didn't plan very well, <laughs> and, um, whatchamacallit. Um, we got a lot of points. We need to go Tier 3 soon. And Marksman Rifles. I need some Marksman Rifles, uh, Gold and Zircon Scale and all that stuff. But I should get it relatively fast, because I've got a lot of the SMGs, all the DLC weapons, uh, basically Gold and Zircon Scale. So that's going to help that grind a little bit more, but I'm, I'm thinking this year I want... Oh, it's me. Um, this year... Where are we going? We're going back over here. Cool. This year I want to do all the Modern Warfare 3 stuff, and then maybe next year uh, for Gulf War... Oh... <laughs> uh, in the intermediate times because there are times in a DLC season where things kind of slow down a little bit kind of like where we're at now I'd love to revisit the Modern Warfare 2 guns and just kind of casually grind and all this stuff so that would be really fun what's the best loadout to use against the Red Worm? if you have as many people as we're going to have you can use anything but uh, fully automatic weapon, decent amount of range triple pack of punched, legendary weapon I would recommend but really and, and this is kind of, I'm going to do a video. I don't know if you guys would like this or not, but 
uh, I would love to do a video of like a kind of a clickbaity title of just like the best weapon in Modern Warfare 3 overpowered use this one before you do anything else and uh, and it's just like a video of me going hey bro like all of the weapons are pretty good because like all of the SMGs all of the assault rifles all of the LMG like they're all pretty good like they're all pretty good um, epic ether tool let's go I still get excited about these and that's a tier 2 contract so that's awesome I think the zombie can't hit me that's very weird. <laughs> the zombie's pathing is super, super weird sometimes. All right, what perk am I missing? Elemental pop, I'm okay with that. Um, yes, let's go there. And I also need to pack a punch tier three, so I'm gonna go over there. Now, I might not be able to keep up with chat, even though I still haven't been able to keep up with chat, which is something I never thought would happen. <laughs> but, oh, mega abomination. Come on, ice, let's go. <laughs> Uh, but, we're gonna go through here. 400 view, I know, it's crazy, it's awesome. Every weapon is viable, don't hit the tree donuts, okay. Uh, yeah, most weapons are very viable. I would have an easier time telling you guys what weapons you shouldn't use versus what weapons you should use. Uh, I, I don't think, like, it's that easy in... in Tier 3 in the Dark Aether, like, there's really not a lot of things that you can't use. This is an epic Tier 2, and this is what it does. Okay, well, that's a bad example here. Who? Let's throw a decoy for my teammate here. Let's go ahead. Yep, alright, let's head back here. Let's do that. Awesome. Hello, Pastries. That's an interesting name. That's an interesting thing to call people. <laughs> oh, boy, I'm glad that Mega Abomination didn't spawn in there. Would you rather more Modern Warfare Zombies or this new or this new round based in Gulf War? Uh, see, this is where this is where I think a lot of you guys are gonna hate me because I love round based so much more than Modern Warfare Zombies, but that might just be my preference. You know, I think um, Modern Warfare Zombies, well, just the open world uh, of oh, actually, I don't want those Casimirs. Uh, I'm gonna equip this. Very good. Yeah, that should be okay. Actually, I'm gonna drop you, and I'm gonna get two more of those. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I very much. Oh, I don't have enough for tier three pack bunch now. Donuts, yeah, donut. That's okay. We're gonna do this at last. Um, yeah, I very much love round based, and like, what's good about it though, is we can kind of have both, and I think that's the. Oh my goodness, look at this road right here. I think that's the business model that they want. Uh, I think uh, they want us to have both, but... Oh, critical damage. Okay, we're gonna get out of here. Get out of there, Ice. Let's, uh... uh yeah, there we go. I think they want us to have both, but they just haven't had the dev time to make both quite yet, so I think that's the big issue. We're, we're really going to see in Gulf War kind of what their... Hey, Mimic, that wasn't nice. What their kind of MO is for, for all of us here. Man, it's hard to talk in Tier 3, I tell you. Sometimes I'm commentating, I'm like, how do I commentate and do this at the same time? <laughs> you got the epic Aether Tool schematics in my first and so far only Tier 3 contracts. Well, that is awesome because that was my last uh, Tier 3 schematic. I got... The ray gun, the perks, the pack a punch, uh, really early on. Uh, in fact, I still have footage of. Oh, okay, this mimic. Uh, I still have footage of Beebs and I. Okay, that was weird. I'm gonna go over here. Sorry, I only have a pack two weapon. Oh, pack three juggernaut. Okay, that's fine. Ah. All right. I'm sorry. Sorry guys, I'm gonna bail. I'm gonna go to the pack a punch here. But yeah, it was my last. The epic ether tool was my last schematic. What would you make it, recommend going into the dark ether the first time? Um, that, that's a hard one. I feel like, like I said, everything is pretty balanced. Uh, I feel like honestly, this new any new like the uh, any new SMG, any new assault rifle that they did, that's definitely a good one. Uh, the Ram 9, I still think, is really fun. Ram 7 is still really good. Uh, this Horus is still really good, especially if you have it. Uh, there's just a lot of things that you can use. Uh, I still The tiers Akimbo is still really good. 
The WSP Swarms is still really good. Like, a lot of things are still really good. People love the Haymaker, and I, I definitely can very much see that. Lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff you can still use here. Also, check this out. This is a little quick tip that I'm definitely going to steal, or, or not steal, just use for a video one day. Um, actually, I don't know if I can do it from up here. Oh, no, I can't. Okay, so if you hop down here, if you, like, miss this Pack-a-Punch thing, there's this ladder over here. And then we can come on over here. There's no zombies out here. Look at how nice and easy this is. You hop on over and you go, oh, there's two, three pack a punch and you can just run on through. Isn't that great? Oh, that's so wonderful, isn't it? We got 15 minutes left of this game. My goodness. One over for zombies always felt like it had more variety than round based. Uh, for me, Cold War was my first time I got sucked into zombies and more for zombies has been, I've been playing basically exclusively since it came out. Yes. Um, do we have? Yeah, I would agree. Let's go there. Um, that's an interesting thing, and I want to, my next podcast, uh, which I, I forgot to mention earlier, I'm hoping to record it tomorrow on my day off, so hopefully I can get that podcast going, because I, if you can't tell, I could talk for hours about zombies. I mean, seriously, I could just talk, talk, talk about zombies, <laughs> and so I need to really formulate my thoughts and feelings uh, when I do those podcasts and really focus on what I want to uh, articulate, but that's going to be one of those things where, uh, crap, what were we talking about? Uh, oh no, the replayability. I feel like Modern Warfare Zombies has a lot more to do in the here and now, but round based, I feel like just gives you so many reasons to come back. It gives you so many reasons to keep coming back and playing and 10 years from now, I don't know how much enjoyment I'll get out of Modern Warfare Zombies, but 10 years since Black Ops 3, I could still have just as much fun in Shadows of Evil or Dreisendraha. So it's it's an interesting mix, and it's different types of replayability, it's different types of gameplay, it's a different business model, and some people like this, some people like that. I think the round-based people are very surprised about how many people like the open-world zombies, and then the open-world zombie people are surprised that people like round-based. But I like both. I think both are really, really cool and really, really fun. The famous donuts? No way. Absolutely. The rookie. Uh, Faye had Brown. Welcome to the stream, all you guys. Um, is there a queue? Uh, there is not. But I am hoping to play one more game after this. Okay. I thought I was just getting shot at, but I'm hoping to do one more game after this. Maybe we can do it a little bit more quickly, because it is getting late. But I would love to go to the Dark Aether or something. That'd be really fun. Look at that sigil. Triple Pack-a-Punch. There you go. All right. Ooh. Now, also, thinking about this, I've got 10k points. You go do that. I'm going to go over here, because I need to buy a Juggernaut. I don't think you understood that pastries equals donuts. No, I understood that. It's just a weird, just an odd, you know, I, I've thought about that, like calling people, hey, pastries, or, you know, this is the bakery or something, but it just feels kind of weird, doesn't it? Firebase Z, enough said. I don't know, because not a lot of people like Firebase Z. A lot of people don't like Firebase Z. I like Firebase Z. But um, definitely a controversial map. The late night streams are definitely uh, appreciated. Oh, thank you. I know, I used to think, you know, streaming in the afternoon or streaming in the early evening was like the way to go, but no, apparently people like watching stuff, you know, late at night, so, and this is clearly doing pretty well, so. Uh, long time fan, great job. Oh, thank you, Jeremiah. I really appreciate that. Ooh. All right, we're going to go grab ourselves a Juggernaut because I've been using them way more often in the new Dark Aether here. I think this game we want to go to the old Dark Aether so we can go do our our uh, escort thing that we've always had a um, problem with here on the channel, but uh, I think that'll be really good. Cool. Use my PA on spores. My PA. What is my PA? What does that stand for? Uh, maple versus chocolate versus vanilla. Uh, I'm a chocolate person all through and through. I love chocolate so much. And that is my favorite type of donut, too. I didn't answer that earlier. I love chocolate. Chocolate's the way to go. Higgle Woggle, welcome back. How's it going, Higgle? How's it been? Ten items in my stash? Yeah, absolutely. 
Connor, Connor OG, how's it going? Welcome, everybody. Duncan or Krispy Kreme? I'll be honest, uh, you'd be... Uh, it, it, would, it would be insulting to tell you how many donuts I actually don't eat. <laughs> because it's just the Simpsons reference. It's not anything to do with donuts. Ah! Very good. Oh, somebody put in a turret circuit. Nice. I need to go to the... Well, I'm, I'm leaving my... I'm, I'm that teammate right now. I'm leaving my... Teammates just to do the contract on all on their own. There we go. Have you tried the cast off 545 in zombies? Definitely worth checking out. I think it would surprise me. Yeah, the cast off 545 was uh was not the one to do in in uh, Modern Warfare 2. That was one of the hardest guns to get gold. It was absolutely horrible. So inconsistent. But uh, I've heard really good things about it in zombies. All right, let's see. Do we get a legendary? Oh, two epic ether tools. Check that out. See, it's not just streamer luck. I mean, it might. You could still probably consider it streamer luck, but um, definitely, definitely just just my normal experience here. Okay, where did this orb go? All right, I want to shoot this orb. I need to complete that uh, 420 event still, so I need to get three of these orbs. Hey. Oh, and I'm gonna switch out my decoys. Absolutely. I'll throw out a decoy now, actually, that's good. I think this guy's almost dead here. Come on, is it gonna go over the ocean? I've never had it go out that far before. Oh my goodness, are you serious? This thing hates me. Where is it at, where is it at? Come on, donuts, where'd it go? Oh, wow, it just said, sorry, we're going. Is it over there? It's over there, it's coming back. Wow, I just saw a random flash. Okay, oh, that's bad, oh, that's bad. Come on, destroy it, destroy it. Come on, donuts, come on, donuts. Oh my goodness, I don't think I could do it. I don't think I could do it. It's still up, though. Oh, come on. Oh, we got it, we got it, let's go. <laughs> oh, boy. I, I, ha I don't do these anymore. I don't do these. Watching from Barbados. Loving the stream so far. Thank you. Uh, would that be Bayhan? Bayhan? Bajan? A, a blue ether tool? Oh, getting ripped off. Uh, now we've got this whole horde of zombies. Excuse me, guys. I need to take care of this real quick here. Ooh. All right. Very good. See, any weapon is really good. Any weapon's really good. Start a radio show. That's a lot of people telling me. Uh, giraffes. Seriously, coming from experience, doing the cheats, doing the cheats, playing the game how it's supposed to be played is so much better. Oh yeah. Now you say that, Delta Wolf. Now you say that. Tell Brian that. <laughs> No, I think, um, and I also think some of the reason, talking about the tombstone glitching and all that stuff, I think part of their hesitation to increase the stash size or reduce schematic cooldown is because of the, uh, tombstone glitch. Because those people would, like, uh, seriously get so much benefit from that versus doing it the, the regular way. You should try Tim Hortons in Canada. That's great. You know what? Everyone always says that. I need to. <laughs> Rise and draw. Yeah, that's how Dempsey says it. Dempsey says rise and draw in the trailer. I'm, you know, I'm going to say that's the way the Americans should say it. I'm just saying. <laughs> it ruined the game and I got to start playing more. Oh my goodness, there's a mega abomination. Okay, I shouldn't go over here. First time catching you live. Love the videos. You make it look far too easy. I still need to complete the missions, but also never did the tombstone glitch. Yeah, it's really, it's not all that bad. And I think what a lot of it is, and I've been thinking about this far too often, uh, is I think, ooh, is that a, a, an unopened crate? Let's go. Uh, epic ether tool. Hey, that's pretty darn good. Uh, I think a lot of people who started liking Modern Warfare Zombies are people who never got into round-based zombies and therefore never really practiced the, uh, kind of the movement of zombies and that kind of subtle, like, uh, juking and sliding and, you know, all the sort of maneuvering, outmaneuvering the zombies and stuff. I've never seen you live. That's because I'm not really live all that often, but, um, I'm really trying to do it a little bit more often here. Uh, just kind of connect with you guys a little bit more. Sometimes I don't feel like doing a whole video. Double pack a punch crystal. Let's go. I'm going to take that instead of stamina up for sure. Uh, do I want to kill this guy? No, I don't. I don't have the thermites that I want to kill this guy with. Bajan. Okay, Bajan. All right. 
Thank you. I, I like I said, the worst pr pronunciator ever. <laughs> in the dark, I can help you. <laughs> Never was into round based. It was frustrating to me. Yeah. I, see, that's the thing. And when you see like the Noah J's and the Me's and the who, whoever else who has played zombies before, uh, come in here and just get used to the movement and kind of knows that decision making second hand already. It makes it look a little bit easier than it yeah, might actually be. All right, where I need to see. Oh, we got an easy storm. That's nice. Okay, cool. Um, I think I'm gonna start heading our way over there because five minutes is actually not all that t long of a time. Oh my goodness! Come on, donuts, focus. Ooh. And I think I got all I want from tier three. I got my juggernaut. Okay, I think yeah, we're good. I'm gonna start heading my way over there, and I'm gonna see if this. Uh, ATV. Okay, it's good. Please don't run into many zombies, donuts. Oh, okay. There we go. Alright, I think Antihero is getting some uh, extra players here, which is really good. The more the merrier on the Red Worm. I love seeing a whole group of people at the Red Worm here. We're, we're getting ready. Alright, this is the mainstay right here. We're doing it. How come other players appear green on my map? Because, this is great, I love it when I get these little comments, because in the uh, menus you can change the colors of basically everything. And I always, always loved, I'm lost here, I need to go back, I always loved the OG Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2 and COD 4 colors of everything. Um, of just everything. I love the green teammates, the blue party people. I think that's just how my mind works. That's how it always has been in me. And so I changed it here in, in Modern Warfare 3. So I thought that was really fun. All right, we're heading to the Red Worm here. Let's hope we don't crash. I'm surprised that, uh, that we're, we haven't crashed yet, but I might have just jinxed it. <laughs> Only guy worth watching. Oh, well, that's not entirely true, but I appreciate the sentiment. Chad of Duty, how's it going? How's it going? Good to see you here. Austin Murphy, how's it going? Been watching your stuff for a while and just caught you live for the first time too. What gun are you using? I'm using the brand new uh, Horus SMG. I absolutely love it. I mean, because it's brand new and it's an SMG and it's fast firing, right? You know, it's got all the things I like in it. But that new sniper, the more sniper rifle, is something I'm definitely going to use as well. We definitely got over here a lot earlier than I thought we were going to. Chanting, add me and I can help. <laughs> Is getting the legendary ether tool first try lucky? Uh, I would say so, but only, you know, like 33% chance lucky. There's only three things you can get. Um, yes. I mean, it's tier three zombies, plate strippers, and I've gotten the habit where they basically drop ammo or plates, and I have to bail and regain. Yes. I watch your videos with my husband. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Containment level was 2,000. Greg, that's insane. And then booted from your game last night back to 75. That is horrible. I do think, I think it's possible, I think it's feasible that um, they're going to add more levels to the containment levels. I think that's definitely going to be something in future updates. That seems like an easy thing that they can update. Um, uh, did we confirm that? Okay, I'm going to ping that so that way we don't lose it. Hey, Donuts, thanks for all the videos lately. Been super helpful. Thank you, Lucas. Absolutely. No need to be disrespectful, people. You know who you are. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Thank you, Chat of Duty. Appreciate it. What are some other YouTubers that you watch, like, and also do COD Zombies? Um, well, I think I watch mainly what you guys watch. I actually don't watch a lot of Zombies YouTubers. Um, as weird as that sounds, uh, I like watching adjacent videos. I like... Um, Man, what have I been into? So, and sometimes I get on these weird YouTube uh, things where I'll watch like body cam footage, I'll watch like kitchen nightmares and all these other random things. So that's kind of been what I've been into now. Um, but yeah, some zombie. Yeah, whip some zombie butt. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Riley, thank you for the two euros. Oh, I'm, uh, if I'm, <laughs> I'm terrible with money denominations. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, one of the only people I watch and like for zombie stuff. Uh, I very much, um, I very much uh, love Lego. I think he was the original like 
I don't know. During Cold War, every all the zombies people were kind of um, sad and kind of not upset, but kind of discouraged, I think. And then Lego kind of proved, hey, no, like there's people, there's an audience for this. And one of my favorite things, uh, do I watch Spazzo? Yes, I do watch the Spazzo. Absolutely. Um, one of my favorite little YouTube memories was uh, towards the uh, right before Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. I put out some Cold War walkthroughs, and I thought to myself, dude, Donuts, who's going to watch this? Who's going to watch walkthroughs of D-Machina, like the easiest zombie map in zombies history? And, like, I went from, like, 6,000 to 8,000 subscribers like that, like, super quickly because, uh, hey, yeah, this is my favorite donate <laughs> through savings and wise investments. <laughs> Oh man. Uh, but no, uh, I, and like, I think that to me proved that like, the narrative of kind of like the Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4 zombie players, we were like, hey, who wants easy maps? Who wants this? You know, everyone should know how to do this, this, and that. And um, funny, funny time. Thank you. Thank you for the $10 of your videos. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. That's so generous of you guys. Um, but that's when I was like, okay, so clearly, uh, Treyarch is going after this really accessible and really easier game, less challenging game. And so that's when I was like, we have this brand new audience here. Mm -hmm. Clearly you guys are, are new to zombies, at least somewhat a little bit. And so I was like, what could I do to introduce and help people understand the magic of classic round-based zombies. And so that's kind of something I'm going to explore in uh, upcoming videos uh, in the future, just kind of going over some really base mechanics because even though, you know, Easter eggs might be complex or confusing in round-based zombies, there's some really, really special things to experience there too. There's a reason that so many players absolutely loved it. And uh, I think it's it's really special. And I hope that we can retain some of that special feelings with Gulf for Zombies. Um, by the way, we got, look at all these people here. This is what you got to do when you're going after the Red Worm here. This is what happens when you're in chat and you're asking people you and you get the uh, USBs yourself. What USBs do we have? Charlie and Alpha. Is this Alpha? Okay, so I got Alpha over here. And I think Charlie is going to be over here, right? Charlie. Okay, cool. So I've got these two here. I think Charlie's going to be first, though. Well, and I apologize. Thank you for everyone being in the chat. Um, actually, uh, thank you, everyone, for being in chat. I might not be able to talk to you for the next, like, five minutes, but I appreciate it. appreciate your support. Um, Rob, how's it going? Hey, Donuts, hope your day is going great. Thanks for the great videos. It's been helping me out a lot. Absolutely appreciate it. Um, Cryptics, hey, Do hey Donuts, how's it going, bro? Love the videos. Keep it going, my man. Hey, can I please activate that? Thank you. Um, unlocking Borealis. Yeah, that's awesome. We will be here. Absolutely. Thank you. Beat the worm. Yeah, let's do it. I think how fast? Actually, you know what? How fast do you think we could do it? How fast do you think we could beat the red worm here? We've got all of these people. I don't, I didn't get any, um, uh, sentry guns, but how quickly do you think we could beat this? Riley donated and asked what will be con cornered on the, or commented on the next podcast. Um, probably the state of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, the fact that we're kind of in, oh, that's a lightning strike. Ah! We're kind of going into the slower times of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. I want to talk about the replayability, kind of what to expect from Modern Warfare 3, comparing it to previous zombie DLCs and uh, DMZ's DLC season. I think that sort of stuff, too. Um, Riley's persistence is impressive. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, but that's kind of the stuff to expect in the next podcast. Kind of a state of a... Not the state of the union, not a state of the game, but just kind of like a, hey, what should we expecting? Because... Around this time, dang it, I'm going to commentate over the, over this is, we're going to make this easy. Good, beautiful people. We just hit 600 concurrent viewers. This is absolutely insane. Let's get some hype in the chat. Let's get it going. <laughs> don't forget my mask. Oh, don't forget my mask. Don't forget my mask. Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. Man, never thought that'd be a problem, but here we go. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, this always happens with every single Zombies DLC season. In Zetsubo no Shima, everyone was like, oh my goodness, 
Like, this is the worst zombies ever created. They thought Zetsubo was worse than Transit, and like, oh my goodness, is that not true? Uh, but, oh my goodness, look at all of these things. This is so crazy. Um, <laughs> there's always a little bit of a lull, no matter how much content there is, no matter how many uh, things they release, like Black Ops 4 released four maps at launch and people were still like, oh my goodness, there's not enough content. And I'm like, how is that not enough content? So it's okay to take a break. And so that's kind of what this mid-season, mid-series lull is going to be. Uh, it's just kind of be like, it's okay to take a break, go play something else, go for a few updates over here. Oh my goodness, like I don't even have enough time to throw that thermite. That's crazy. And we're almost done. We got like 10 minutes left. Oh my goodness. This might be the fastest I've ever done this worm. Ooh. I need to I need to kill these uh, orbs here. And a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys say, oh my goodness, we did it. Here it is. Boom. Done. 954. 954. Could you guys have guessed that? That's, that's awesome. Gas mask. Thank you guys for the gas mask. That really, I almost, whew, that was almost really bad. Uh, cool. All right, let's see what we get because all after all, we were getting ice. This legendary ether tool. Let's go. We got the legendary ether tool. Success. I hope. I hope my teammate got it. I don't know. I'm sure everybody will drop their stuff. Wow, a live video of donuts. A live video. I know. Look at all the stuff. Look at all the goodies over here. Gas mask. I'll take that. I'll take my own gas mask too. All right. Now I need to get my gas mask re-upped real quick because we are going to go to the dark ether yes i think so or are we gonna go okay uh i need to look for i'm gonna look for the nearest i'm gonna go to this ammo cache actually i'm gonna swap out my gas masks too this is a little trick i sometimes do if i don't know uh, what to do. J5 with the $5. Keep the great content coming. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I, I try my best. We're going to try my best. Um, how do you get so many players to join the fight? Usually me and my bro. Uh, always type out the red worm and then dipping into the dark, but nobody ever comes. Uh, I think people have said that there's like skill-based matchmaking in zombies. Like the more you do these type of things, uh, the more... Pl Time, or the more likely you'll get put into lobbies with those type of players. I don't know how true that is, but it's something to maybe consider. We got it. We got it. Here too. Let's go. All them goodies on the ground. Absolutely. Hey there, Donuts. How's it going, Tommy? Thanks for your insightful videos. Help me unlock Borealis and Bioluminescent. Absolutely. We're going to put on our this guy. We're going to get this redone and then put on this guy. Open this up because no one... Hey, look, an epic ether tool that's just lying on the ground right there. Okay, buddy. That's all right. We'll do that. Okay, we got the Durbel on now. I need to... Like, where's my, where's my teammates? Where are my teammates going? I'm going to put on this guy real quick. Did we not... I don't think... Did we get a sigil? I hope we got a sigil. I hope we're not just going to the final exfil here. I hope Antihero's got a plan here. Yeah, we do. Okay, we got a we got a plan. We got a plan. Let's go. Hopefully he confirms that real quick so that way our gas mask doesn't die on us. This is kind of the most stressful part about this going into here. So hopefully he can put the sigil in. Let's vote yes. Absolutely. We're going to put on our durable just for a little bit of safety. Beautiful. Love from Taiwan. Thank you, guys. Taiwan. That's insane. And did we do it? We did it. Beautiful. Whew. Always so fun. Always so fun. Streamer luck. <laughs> yeah, streamer luck, too. Um, can I join your next game somehow? Absolutely. Uh, unfortunately, there's only going to be two. So uh, what we're going to do... There's so many of you guys. I love this. I love this. Uh, I love my donation like messages. I'm going to get distracted every time. Um, never been to the Dark Ether. How do you get so good at the game? Lots of practice. Lots of uh, practice. It's really not all too difficult. Uh, Michael Lloyd, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Uh, thanks for the info. Uh, for me, fun time watching during free trial week, carrying the noobs. Absolutely. <laughs> Donut Mobile. Hello, beautiful streamer and people. How's it going, Strange Weasel? It's a strange username, but I appreciate it. Germany is in the house. Absolutely. You get some fun people here late at night. This is really fun. 
so uh, for the next game, I think I'm just going to kind of show you guys my um, thing. My, uh, what do you call it? Don't take that out of context, please. <laughs> random perk. We get random perks down in the Dark Aether. Um, oh, this is the Elder Sigil, so I should probably pay attention too. And we only have a regular uh, Epic Aether tool. Um, and I don't have my trusty, what you call it, turret circuit. So that's incredibly scary. Yikes. Okay, alright. Uh, which way is he going? I'm going to go over here. Uh, I'm going to use these Casimir's Force, the ACV. We're going to do the ACV first, my boy. Okay. Why not? Red Worm drops some cash, sending love and good vibes. Oh, that's so funny, Chat of Duty. Thank you so much. Thanks for the hard work, content, and positive energy. Absolutely. Funny, everyone says I'm super positive on YouTube. If you know me, like, in real life, I'm not necessarily the most positive person ever. I'm a very realistic person, but there's just been so many times in like my zombies career where I think we've gone we've been too harsh on zombies where we've just I know I'm definitely gonna use uh, some okay, more armor yep we're doing this now uh, well we've got a VR 11 and I've got this mega abomination right here please don't notice me all right I really wish I should have I really should have thought we've got another mega abomination there uh, okay uh, okay okay whoa <laughs> y'all wonder Y'all wonder why I bring so many armor plates here. I'm gonna throw... Uh, I'm gonna throw a... Whatchamacallit? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I hope that... I hope Ice with your VR11 here can just really backpack us this game. There's so many boss zombies here. So now what we need to do is we need to use our thermites here. We need to use our weapons here. And really focus on the boss zombies. Get out of here. I like your voice. What's my favorite zombies movie? I don't think I have a favorite zombies movie. Oh, look at all the people. Look at all the people. Oh, donuts. Yeah, donut. That's all right. That's all right. Let's wait for them to get knocked down. Very good. Uh, I am going to come over here and throw one of these guys. Okay, he got that. Now, once we get past this beginning part, I think it should get a little easier. Uh, but clearly... I still freak out about this a little bit here. Two sentry guns, you gotta love it. Do I like Modern Warfare Zombies? Uh, I think that's an understatement. I think, uh, well, I, 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 I do like Modern Warfare Zombies. I think there's a lot of really fun potential in Modern Warfare Zombies. Uh, but I think it's far from what it could be, if that's a fair assessment to make here. Uh, I think they, they could do so much with this whole entire game mode that it, it, it could be so cool. It, it would be so cool. Uh, Etherblade. Fluffy for life, how's it going? Don't could you help me get with the new schematic? Uh, potentially, absolutely. I don't think I have an Elder Sigil. But uh, I'm going to show you my... Uh, whatchamacallit? Activision ID... Once we get done with this, or maybe you guys put in your Activision ID, and I will pick randomly from you. That sounds like a better idea. I'm gonna pick one of you guys, one of your guys's Activision ID, uh, and we are gonna do something. Hopefully, maybe more Dark Ether focused. Maybe not Red Worm focused. That took a little bit longer than I would like. Um, oh, but I would love to. Um, I'm gonna get on top of this thing. Uh, I would love to go to the new Dark Aether. I think that would round out the stream really well. So if you need some of the new schematics, or, uh, yeah, if you need some of the new schematics, mags of holding, whatever, uh, towards the end of this game, as soon as I start exfilling, uh, I'm going to hopefully pick two people uh, to come with me to the uh, new Dark Aether in the next game. That way we can kind of just go there rather quickly. Okay, Mega Abomination, you're cool. Oh, I need some, I need some ammo. That's all right. We're on our... Oh, no. Ice. Yeah, let's go. Sweet. I think this is so much fun. I love how challenging this is. I'm waiting for some more ammo. There we go. Ammo. Nope, not quite yet. That's all right. Um, well, uh, ammo, anybody? I'm going to need to use one of my Casimirs, unfortunately. I'm going to throw a Casimir over here. And that should be good. We got some ammo. Red Worm or Elder Sigil, I got Elder 2. Awesome. Yeah, I think I am going to limit it, unfortunately, just for the balance of the stream. Uh, I'm going to see... Oop, soldier. Let's uh, 
calm it down with the spam there, soldier. Um, but yeah, absolutely. I think uh, I want to go to the new Dark Aether just for a good stream quality. Uh, and props to the guys in game with me. These guys have been fantastic, kind of carrying me through everything. And um, okay, can we get out of this? We're going to try to make a run for it. Uh, I think the best way to run for it is going to be up through here. Yeah, I want to do this. Is there that ether tear right here? Ooh, maybe, maybe not. Nice contract complete. We should definitely go see what's in that, but I kind of want to just get out of here. Okay, the ether tear is not there yet, but I did want to create some space. Hopefully these guys can clear out this area. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's so beautiful. All right, let's see what we got. Dog bone, dog bone recipe, death perception, all the good stuff. You know what? I'm going to take Shatter Blast too. <laughs> Sweet. All right, now, hi. Who? Let's go, let's go. Okay, um, yeah, he's going to grab that guy. I think Antihero's got it, so let's go ahead and get on top so we can start taking these things out. I still do have a couple of these Casimirs, which is going to have to be good enough. Logan, how's it going? Not going to be able to play the next game because I got school tomorrow. Absolutely understandable. No worries whatsoever. Oh, I think Antihero's got this guy. I'm going to go kill this Mangler for him. Let's go get him. Nice. Good job, Donuts. Good support. Good support. What's my favorite ammo mod? Uh, I like Shatter Blast the most. Uh, I used to love Cryo Freeze in Cold War, but, um, oh man, we already got that one done. Let's go. But guys, playing on a team is so much more fun. <laughs> well, not more fun, but so much more productive. I love Napalm Burst for some reason. I think Napalm Burst is just, I, I just like the fire. I like how it melts everything. I think it's really cool. Man, you had surgery today. Oh man, surgery is tough. Donuts, why did you get close to that? <laughs> What's going on? Epic Ether Tool, another dog bone. Let's go. Um, I don't think I need any of that. Actually, I'll take the Epic Ether Tool and I'll take the dog bone. Cool. And then we're gonna go up here. Oh, he's already going. Okay, let's go over here. Ooh. Are you? Uh, am I playing on Xbox? Absolutely not. I am Mr. PC Master Race over here. I, I love PC. Super, super great. Took a little bit to get used to, but I love it. Interesting to see me with squad mates. Yeah, uh, don't do it super often, but uh, it can be. It can be fun. It's it is, and it's really fun when it's someone like Beebs or one of your friends or something. Obviously, we gotta level up. We gotta level up. I'm gonna throw one of these Casimirs right away. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna get this guy up, sweet. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, okay, maybe maybe standing up there wasn't the best idea. We're gonna do our dog bone, we're gonna put on Casimirs. We're gonna get stuck in this crystal, that's okay. <laughs> oh. It's so crazy chaotic in here. Let's hop on up here. Very good, that's easy. Messaging from the moon. Oh man, dude, we're reaching. The the Donuts Empire is reaching across the galaxy. I love it. <laughs> Show us your guns. <laughs> Here it is. There's my gun. There you go. <laughs> what SMG is that? It's the new uh, F FJX Horus. It's the MP9 from Modern Warfare 2, basically. The original Modern Warfare 2. Who? Barrows with the five dollars. Thank you so much. Thank you for putting out great content. Well, thank you for watching the content. I very much appreciate that. Great content's kind of useless if nobody watches it. Watches it. <laughs> All right, nine to nine percent. Very good. This this is like this Outlast contract always gets me super nervous. All right, we got it. Doing good. Donut Empire. Yes. Didn't hit. Uh, didn't hit the locked doors. No, I kind of forgot, honestly. Let's go double pack a punch. Ether blade case. Love to see it. Um, and you know what? It's the last thing. We're going to take the dog bone. Uh, and then do I have anything else? Yeah, I'm going to do this instead of that. And we got it. So let's see if our teammates were smarter than I was and hit this. Uh, oh, they did. They're not that smart. Like it. Let's go. All right. Uh, I do not want this guy. Oh. Oh, and we got the thing right there. That's awesome. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. All you need is a PhD schematic. Now, is there anything in this room? No, there's nothing in this room. But that's the only thing we could do to unlock it. Cool. 
next thing we need to do is we need to go all the way up top and do our little parkour challenge. That was the new gladiator melee weapon. Still need to try it out, but uh, I think I've heard it's actually really good. Uh, mainly because the, um, uh, the monkey fist thing, which is like $80, which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I think that's just a skin of that, and I've seen people say that that fist is actually really good. So I would imagine that would mean... Oh, I missed. Okay, well... I would imagine that means that the gladiator melee weapon is really good. Ooh, W stream, by the way. Thank you. I have the driver error. Any suggestions to fix? Um, unfortunately, I do not know. I'm not that, that computer savvy, but um, usually... Anything to update. Oh, of course, Antihero is going to beat me to it. <laughs> $80 fist that one hits bosses. Yeah, I think I'm hoping that that's just the Gladiator melee weapon reskinned. And that way, yeah, he's got the key. Whew, let's go. Thank you. And let's go over here. I've got this key. All Bagra officers' quarters. I'll make my way. I'll make my way. Justin, just got on the toilet and see Donuts live stream. I hope this poop takes longer than expected. All right. Well, uh, unless you have some gastrointestinal <laughs> problems, I don't know how uh, true that's going to be. Let's get rid of this dog bone. I don't want to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and jump on down here. It looks like Ice has left uh, the party as well. So thank you ice for coming on in. Hopefully you got that uh, Legendary ether tool that you guys were that you were after It looks like all of these things don't have anything good in them. Unfortunately, we'll still use it cool and Then I think we need to go down over here And see the original albagra Oh, not over there. We need to go up one more. Gladiator is good. Took out Stormcaller with 10 seconds. See, I need to interact with Stormcaller. That's a lot of zombies over there, Donuts. Uh, I need to interact with Stormcaller a lot more than I am. But it just feels kind of weird that they put him in there. Nothing good. Nothing good. Okay, well, that was definitely the worst streamer luck ever. I could have just opened that door. I know. All right. Well, who cares about the insta-kill? All right. All right. Well, let's go on, go on and get out of here. And um, let's go ahead and start asking people, hey, um, who, pack a punch, um, who needs uh, any of the tier or the season two schematics? Who needs any of the second Dark Aether schematics? Uh, and start writing your names in chat, and uh, I will select one of you guys to join in the next game, and we can go to the tier two, or the tier two, the second Dark Aether. But uh, as for this game, really successful run. We got lots of good loot. He's got a dog bone for me. Thank you. Um, actually, yeah, cool. And then decoy grenade. We've got Casimir's going. Very nice. No, okay, we need to go. Okay, okay, donuts. Don't get trapped anywhere. All right, <laughs> don't push your luck. <laughs> All right. Very good. Mags of Holding is awesome. Cool. You do. The Danster. Me. Well, cool, yes. Find your Activision ID. Be ready. Um, I will say, same thing with the guys in here. Uh, they were very respectful. Uh, we'll do a little pre-lobby talking. But then after that, these guys were radio silent, kind of just con um, communicating through pings and stuff. I think that's uh, going to be kind of the way to go from here on out you know i want to interact with the stream here uh can't be chit chatting with the chat uh, or chit chatting with the people in in game so if we get in game i apologize if i mute you i apologize if you know we not talk but uh we're gonna be talking to the chat here so we have time for one more quick game here it's actually a lot later than i thought it was gonna be but uh we still got some time in here we still got some time Pretty much need all the ether tools, absolutely. My live is doing great. Thank you, Giorgio, appreciate that. Um, Queen Crust, <laughs> yeah, awesome. I need all of them, started zombies one week ago. Um, what's my favorite loadout or gun? I should probably leave here. By the way, 80,000 XP, 85,000 XP, that's pretty darn good, pretty darn good. Um, I've heard this number goes up or down depending on how late you stay in the game, whether you fight the red worm and go to the dark ether, all that sort of stuff. Um, Interesting stuff to test once Season 3 Reloaded uh, kicks out here. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, 2 p.m. out there. Look at that. That's that's crazy. All right. So, let's get started here. We got this. Everybody left. Everybody left me. That's all right. Well, I appreciate it. Um, let's get my gun going. Kind of build the suspense here. 
thinking about it, that season two, that season two, you know what? How close are we getting this gold? Uh, 15 mercenary kills. We're not going to get that gold. That's boring. Um, I really should have been able to get this. No, golden, uh, uh, whatever. Okay, cool. Um, I don't have a lot to get gold, but I think what I might do... What do I got to rank up still? The DG, the FR this, LMG, I don't want an LMG. I might do a handgun. Ooh, I've heard handguns are pretty good, but I don't think I want to push the luck on stream. I was already pretty distracted. I might go with the Ram. You know what? I'll go with the Rival 9. Rival 9, let's do it. Okay, and we're going to walk you through this live here. Okay, I'm going to go for uh, max, what you might call it, uh, attack stance here. I want something good over here. Well, that's that. I do want a suppressor on it. Uh, I usually look at the suppressor that gets me the most range, but unfortunately it looks like we might not have any suppressor that gets us any range here. Yikes, that's okay. We'll just go with some that gives me no recoil, and then this usually has the best tax stance in here somewhere. 12% versus, tw oh no, 24%, cool. And then we'll put on the Zircon scale. We'll get ourselves the donut charm, and that is how I craft myself a gun that half the comment section just really doesn't like. <laughs> Very good. Cool. Awesome. So I'm going to use the Rival 9 here. I'm going to get my class set up here. Rival 9. Uh, I'm going to use a dog bone, double pack a punch crystal, epic ether tool. Actually, I'm just going to do legendary ether tool. Yeah, I'm going to break your heart, destroy that guy. We've got speed cola. Um, actually, I'm going to do mags of holding because why not? And then for perks, I don't have dead shot. That's on cooldown. See, this is where the cooldown uh, reduction is going to be fun because all of those points, the two and a half hour reduction we just got, boom, just like this, we've got all of these guys reset, ready to go. So it's going to help that ongoing um, re-upping, I guess, for everything really well. So I think I'm going to do PhD because that's always an annoying one not to have. Um, but then I'll keep that. Keep that. Do I want to double pack a punch? I really... I mean, I don't know if I would swap it out for anything. Like, I don't know if we've got any perks that I would want to craft other than maybe Jug or Death Perception. Okay, Jug and Death Perception. I'm going to break your guys' hearts. No more Epic Ether Tool. And I'm going to say no Dog Bone. I don't use Dog Bones all that much. Uh, Juggernog. And we'll go Perk Revive. What did I say? Death Perception. Cool. All right. Now, um, I missed a lot of you guys. I appreciate your patience. Logan, see you later. See you later, Donuts. Hope the stream is good. Yeah, thank you for stopping by, Donuts. Thank you for stopping by, everybody. Um, I am going to... Um, there's my Activision ID. I'm going to add you guys here. Let's see who I want to choose. Now, we need an Epic, or we need an Elder Sigil. Um, do you... Well, I guess I'll just pick somebody here. Uh, let's go ahead and look here. Um, I'm going to choose kind of the first guys here that I asked. I apologize. Um, at least the first guys, and it's going to be completely random because you guys are just so much more than I thought you guys were going to be. Um, let's go here. Oh my goodness, there's so many of you. So many of you. <laughs> I'm trying to look. Somebody who was first here. Don't worry about that noise. It's okay. Um, the Danster. There we go. All right, the Danster. Hopefully this works. Danster. All right, we'll send you a friend request. Yep, friend request sent. Awesome, Danster. We've got you. Hopefully you're still in here. Um, that went up to three, so maybe, maybe. Danster, cool. We will invite you to the party. One down. I'm kind of just going to scroll. I'm not going to look at it. We're going to pick, boom. Uh, I didn't pick anybody. I didn't land on anybody. <laughs> um, you have an Elder Sigil. Unfortunately, you... I need to get to the Elder, okay. Um, I haven't gone to the Dark Ether. You have an Elder Sigil in your rucksack, so the Danster's got an Elder Sigil. Let's go ahead and pick RZ. Uh, that's, that's what I'm going to pick. I know, I apologize if I left you out. Like I said, this is tough. You know, I miss... Um, hey, how's it going? <laughs> All the friend requests are going to start pouring in here. Um, but, and I apologize, I'm probably not going to accept really any of your guys' friend requests. <laughs> but, because I want to keep it clean, I want to keep it to my friends and everything. Um, but, uh, let's see if we can't get this guy in here. Uh, these guys in here. There's more RZ. Let's see if we can't do it, hopefully, maybe. Um, just sent you a friend request, we'll see. 
if you're in game you can accept it make sure we've got a good uh i guess rucksack full uh, i don't know whatever thing you have going on here and uh gonna have to be quick okay there we go invite to party let's do it i'm gonna scroll back for the chat how's it going or good night brennan thank you for coming by the stream appreciate it all right now i think we've got it all sent new guy awesome Our, we got rz and the danster very good we've got an elder sigil we are ready to go to the second uh, we appreciate the honesty absolutely yes it's unfortunate you guys there's so many of you guys in here i did not expect so many of you guys in here um but um this is going to be really fun so hopefully you guys are all ready get your classes all set up like i said probably not going to chat to you guys in game but i think i'm all set i know i've got two double pack a bunch crystals here i'll just drop one on the ground um i think this is all i really want got mags of holding all this i know i've got speed cola and mags of holding but let's go ahead and do it go to the elder dark ether let's match make ready hopefully you guys are ready to go i i really want like a legendary ether tool but i'm sure we'll grind some out if we don't already have them so cool what's up donuts uh love your content thank you chow hound i appreciate that um are most of the legendary schematics from the red worm gray worm um no a lot of them are from the dark ether that's the classified schematics um, I have a, a, a video on it that's kind of old, uh, but I should definitely put it in my um, in my description. I think that would be really good. I need to update all of my marketing stuff and everything for the channel. Uh, very good voice for narration. Just want to point that out there. Thank you so much. Um, good luck to you guys. Thank you, my Michael does stuff. Shame you can't have an invite up to five other players. I know. I, I seriously thought that was going to be like one of the first things that they did with Mono Warfare Zombies. I thought that was going to be like, oh, hey, it's three now, six later, but then you can join up to six, but, you know, all this stuff. But, you know, there's a lot of things I thought they were going to fix really early on. I thought they were going to fix um, the Tombstone glitch like week one, but, um, yeah, <laughs> unfortunately not. Um, finally, a face to the voice. Yeah, absolutely. If you go back in my catalog, I've got quite a bit of videos about my, or with my face on it. Um, Mystery Box podcast as well. That's got my face on it, so... Lots of stuff out there, but definitely a lot of new people in here. Matt uh, Hilk, thank you. I love you, Donuts. Uh, thanks for helping me grow as a Zombies player. And I have all the schematics finally after 530 levels. That is nuts. That is crazy. Um, but I'm glad you have it. It's, it can be a little bit of a grind, and I've got uh, a, a secret, fun little experiment that I want to run uh, in the next coming days and weeks here uh, on, my, on my profile here about schematics and stuff. But... Um, yeah, it's a little secret thing, a little, in, little insight into what's going on in my brain and my content. Um, which is only work on PC. Uh, I don't know about that. Um, you want me to hold on to my Elder Sigil until later? I don't have the new portal unlocked, but I believe my Elder Sigil will still work. Well, uh, Danster, um, I will take the Elder Sigil when we spawn in, so that way I have the portal and we could just go in. That should be fine. Um, let's see... New guy, stop spamming your name. Yeah, absolutely. There's a way to get there's a way to get a bunch of people on one server. Yeah, if you like search at the same time, like I bet you if you guys search right now, you might. Well, I guess it depends on your geographical location. Which it sounds like you guys are on the moon. You guys are in Tijuana. I think you guys are a little bit further away than where I'm at. But you know, you could still there's still a chance if you join right now, you can um, get in the same game. Um, it's clearly having a tough time with all of us in different areas looking for eight more players here. Are you doing going to do the bioluminescent grind? I'm doing it right now, and it's a pain. Um, bio borealis or bioluminescent? Uh, I'm probably gonna do all of the zombies ones. I'm gonna try requeuing here real quick, because um, sometimes you need to like reset it a little bit. Um, ready? Not ready? Let's do it. Ready? Oh, we're changing. Chicago, very nice. Um, how's the 100 tier 3 contracts going? Um, kind of not super well. Um, RZ, you need to ready up, by the way. <laughs> um, not super well because I kind of got a little burnt out on the tier 2 one. <laughs> Just like doing it so quickly. Um, so I might try to find... Uh, plus there's a lot of other videos I don't want to make. I kind of want to do that. I might do that season 4. Kind of after the season reloaded launch because I'm really busy at work right now so I might have more time in that season four area 
uh, just to get it all within a half season, I want to eliminate as many variables uh, as possible. So doing it across a season reloaded launch, I, I think would skew the results a little bit because we have seen tier three get a little buff and everything. So I want to keep it all in one season, but I feel like it's too late into the season uh, to do that. So uh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, absolutely. Here's a link to the donut server since people asked. Yeah, thank you, Michael Dustuff. Appreciate it. Um, how's it going? Hey, Dun Dun, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. I'm doing pretty well. Uh, what's the server? I'll join. Yeah, absolutely. You have to do your party with someone from another console in game. Know what you're talking about <laughs> a donuts live stream what did we do to deserve that well i didn't have a video for today and i got a new computer and i wanted to stream with you guys i miss streaming i miss doing stuff live i think it's really fun um and so here we are and you guys are are here i'm here so we're having fun i appreciate it um duke asks hey donuts i'm wondering how you feel about a lot of the glitches in the game just like the the duplication glitch, tombstone glitch, and like teleporting with your team in the Dark Ether solo. Um, well, tombstone glitching and all that stuff, it's not like that big of a deal for me. But um, I don't personally like it and I don't really encourage it because I feel like a lot of people are uh, using it as a crutch because they think, oh, it's too hard to do it otherwise. And I think a lot of, I think even you beautiful people were like, you know, Donuts, like, we're not all, like, all-star zombies players like me, which, first of all, I'm not an all-star zombies player, but, um, I think it makes it seem as though zombies is harder than it actually needs to be if you rely on those things. So I, I, I like to encourage, um, people not to use those things. Let's go. Awesome. Cool. Appreciate that. Appreciate that legendary ether tool. Mags of holding. I'll drop one of these guys. I'll drop that guy if you guys want it. Uh, feel free to take that if y'all want. And then all we need to do is, honestly, I think we're going to do some Tier 2 contracts. I think that might be the best thing to do right now. <laughs> um, let's see, maybe we can get an ATV. Very good. Or the Donut Mobile. You're right, we should do the Donut Mobile. You're right. <laughs> It also ruins the game. Yeah, it, it, if you get a, a schematic in an illegitimate way, it's kind of like, okay, well, why bother you know, playing the game this way or something? It's a little tiny thing, but just psychologically, I think it's uh, bad for player psychology to, to get it in, in a way that's unintended. It's not like it's a big thing where it's like, oh my goodness, I can't believe people are tombstone glitching, but it's... It's kind of annoying, and it is annoying, uh, especially uh, in my Discord server. I love my Discord server. I love just the helping people out and everything. And so when people come in and they're like, hey, I need a tombstone this and all this, that. And it's kind of like, actually, no, you don't. You don't actually need a, a tombstone to get this all figured out. Like, you can do it really, really easily. Actually, we can just help Danster out here. Let's go ahead and get him. He's taking he's taking fire. Let's get out of here. Let's get in the donut mobile. This is so fun. Uh, this is cool. All right. Now we're probably... Yep. All right. Very good. We probably lost that... Uh... Oh, no. It's right there. Cool. Sweet. Oh, actually, we're going to do this. We're going to do that instead. Cool. All right. <laughs> Change armor plates. Yep. <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, uh, does the constant banner pop-ups for city locations while driving not bother you? It drives me crazy. I don't know why they chose to put it mid-screen even though it's on the compass. Um, it kind of, I mean, there's a lot of stuff about the HUD that kind of drives me nuts. Uh, I think it's, I think it might work for Modern Warfare Zombies, but I don't think it works really well for zombies as a whole. Uh, and so I'm hoping that where are we going where are we going okay we're going over there uh i'm hoping that with round based at least i hope that the hud gets very much cleaned up because the huds we had in black ops 3 black ops 2 and even black ops 4 oh he's got the monkey paw he's got the 80 dollar thing that's crazy um <laughs> sorry squirrel <laughs> um I, I think uh with round based, you need that immersive experience. You want that really 
tight knit and not any distraction type of thing. And just having that here in Outbreak slash this zombies, I don't think it's that big of a deal. But ooh, self revive kit, that's pretty lucky. Um, I think it's fine, but it's just like it wouldn't work if it was traditional zombies, if that makes sense. Oversized Gilly, welcome to the stream. I appreciate it. Oh, what am I even doing? We're gonna go over here. <laughs> I love the horn. Beebs always loves the horn too. <laughs> um, yeah, Oversized Gilly, welcome to the stream. I appreciate all your content. You've been doing some pretty crazy stuff over there too. I need the bounty, yeah, absolutely. You can't party unless you're on the same system. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. How would you feel uh, if they added more campaign missions to zombies? Oh, I absolutely, I would love that. I would love more Axe Story missions. I think that would be fantastic. And I, it's something that DMZ did more like, que whoa, <laughs> okay. Uh, like all those quests and stuff. Uh, that was something that was added in DMZ, especially in, I think it was Season 3 or Season 4. They did the forward operating base completely different, so I definitely think that's something that uh, we're going to need to have here in Modern Warfare 3 uh, in order to kind of compete, I guess, with DMZ. Alright, is the Donut Mobile okay? It's, n it's on its last legs here. We might just have to go give this to the gas station. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to bring this to the gas station here. Oh, can we not do it? Can we not do it? Hello? There we go. Okay, cool. And now I'm going to head out and I'm going to go over here. <laughs> Sometimes I do that. I'll drop off the, the car at the gas station and it'll actually be there when I come back a little bit later, which is really fun. Ooh, an, o an open chest. Let's go. Let's see our luck. Self revive. Cool. That's awesome. For watching your videos, I have the confidence to go into tier 3. Absolutely. See, that's the kind of stuff that I like doing. That hidden cache, I know. I always, like, I've got everything memorized. And it sometimes hurts to, like, not look in things. <laughs> Let's go. They definitely re rebalanced this entire mode. Stamina up. That's awesome. Cool. Oh, hey, would you look at that? We got another donut mobile right here. Yeah, <laughs> big fan. Abby, welcome to the stream. Big fan. Well, thank you. Camo Grizz. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for the $20. I love all the videos. I knew a lot more before. I knew a lot more before now. I know a lot more. Well, thank you. I think I get what you mean. <laughs> Sometimes reading's hard. Let's go. But I appreciate it. That's incredibly generous. Thank you. From your dashboard, it's complicated to do the server trick. Hmm. For like, oh, getting in the same lobby? I guess that's what you mean. I binged these videos for like two weeks before playing, uh, before even trying tier three. Yeah, absolutely. Tier three, it's it, it requires a lot of focus and uh, it'll hold you accountable. Like it'll, it won't let you slouch. It'll force you to pay attention and everything. So I, I very much appreciate that about Modern Warfare Zombies as a whole. Speed Cola, two speed colas, look at that. I'll take that. I'll take that tombstone. Uh, and then where else do we need to go? <laughs> Learning from donuts, absolutely. Uh, okay, so let's do maybe this contract. Yeah, let's do that contract. I'm going to go up here. Sometimes when I play with beeves, I always try to see if they can catch me, like wherever I go with my teammates too. Uh, because they could take that car. Oh no, these other guys are going to go to that one first. I think we can make it though. Tier 3 will either chew you up and spit you out, or you'll be the one chewing bubblegum. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> they really need to add thermal grenade into zombies mode for Season 3. Yeah, I know. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff that... I, w I wish they added in. There's so many little things they could do. That's why when when people are like, hey, do you like Modern Warfare Zombies? It's kind of a, a difficult question because it's like, yeah, I do like Modern Warfare Zombies. But also there's like so many like little missing uh, 
opportunities that they had. And it just kind of feels like, you know, even though this is a great, like, uh, oh my goodness, okay, all right, uh, it's a great concept. Uh, I feel like they could capitalize it on, capitalize on it uh, in a much better way than they are here, which makes it feel like they were underprepared for it, uh, which they probably were with, you know, how the game development is for Call of Duty. Do I need to go down? I do need to go down. That's okay. Um, but I think this as a concept works so much better than what we've had in, like, even Outbreak and uh, Vanguard, especially Vanguard, but Outbreak 2. Just found you tonight, man. Uh, that you're so casual doing these uh, runs, it's nuts. Great stuff. I think I've got all 30 minutes in Tier 3. No, absolutely. Uh, zombies is that thing, and that's the thing about, I think, zombies that really, really made me fall in love with it. It was... Oh, someone's ex-filling. <laughs> I can hear their chat. Um, you really learn over the course of years. It's not like campaign where you just, oh, here's this thing, oh, here's this thing, here's the strategy, uh, here's what you need to do, and boom, you've figured out you beat the game. It's this continuous, uh, always ever-evolving um, skill set. Like, it's really cool. And then all the different maps let you practice different skill set. It's just, it's really, I, I love it. I love it so much. It's, it's a completely different way of playing the game, and uh, it's... It, especially round based, I don't think it's enough credit in the uh, skill set, I guess you could say, uh, for how, how skillful players need to be. But the thing that I've always said was there's a minimum threshold for your skill in round based zombies or training zombies or whatever. But once you understand that, so much of everything opens up and so much of that is really really easy and it's really not all that difficult so it's just that initial learning curve it's that initial bump in oh my goodness how do i even move around the zombies how because nothing about the campaign or multiplayer transfers over to zombie so it's a, it's an interesting dynamic here I, I love it you need to fix the stash limit for season three they already are they are they're doubling it they're doubling the stash size <laughs> which I don't know. I think it's uh, I think it's nice, but I don't think it's it's a uh, it's enough. But I think, um, well, it might be enough, but it's not as much as we want, <laughs> obviously. Uh, donuts videos equals COD model for zombies for dummies. <laughs> yeah, that's honestly I've thought about that sort of title. Uh, Camel Grizz again. Oh my goodness. Uh, I meant I knew a lot. I'm a veteran zombies player, but I learned a lot more from watching your videos. Well, that's that's even a, a much better compliment. That's awesome. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me because I looked up to old zombies YouTubers of the past and I just there it was so fun to watch them be super passionate and have a bunch of fun with the mode and that's what I want to do. And I want to have a bunch of fun with this mode and even though it's not perfect, but it, it, they're still fun to be had, and so I'm glad I can share that with you guys and have that be at the forefront of the channel. So that's really cool. Ever block one door of a stash to make them spawn from a lesser amount of doors? Um, I've never felt the need to do that because it's pretty simple to do this sort of thing. <laughs> um, do you think they should put more zombies, zombies items into the store? Custom weapons, Ethereum crystals... Uh, maybe. Uh, I think they should add more content to the game first before adding anything to the store. Um, but I, I, I do kind of like some of the bundles that we got going on here. I, I kind of like... Uh... Ooh. Ooh, he's got Ether Shroud on. That looks really cool. Um, I do like some of the bundles that we have here in Modern Warfare Zombies. I might buy some of the bundles for the extra operator slots, but... I, I don't know. We're already halfway through, and I don't feel the need for him. I just got cryo freeze for that. That's ridiculous. Um, let's go ahead and do this guy again. Oh no! Forgot the name. Yeah, absolutely cool. Let's go over here. Awesome. Actually, I need to pick up armor. I really need to pick up armor. I'm neglecting it. Let's just let's get this hidden cache over here. Nothing. I made a comment, and I think they should allow people to customize different operators, increase stash space, and you can do different grinds. Yeah, absolutely. I, I would love it if each, like, schematic and uh, rucksack and stash was unique to the 
operator rather than just universal. I think that would be a lot more replayable. It would be a little bit more grinding, but it would be a lot more fun in my opinion. Played up, played up, yeah. Ooh. I need more plates in general. Ooh, let's go. I got started mid-season 2 and your videos were clutch. Thank you, absolutely, thank you. I think Sigil shouldn't be included in the stash size. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff like that I think would be really nice to not include. Um, I think we're, um, yeah, there you go, all right. Uh, let's see. Man, you guys, you guys are fantastic. This is great. Uh, what the heck, Donuts? I didn't know you live streamed. Absolutely, absolutely. Not too often. A couple times a year. Uh, if if I had more time for YouTube, I would definitely stream a whole lot more because this is it's one of my favorite things to do. It's really fun just to sit back, relax, and be with you guys and just chat. Come on, let's go. <laughs> there we go. Speed Cola. Very good. Let's see, is there anything else nearby? Doesn't look like it. We're gonna go do this guy. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that guy. Ha! Oh. Get all those guys down there. Who? Sweet! Gotta go. See ya. See ya, Martin. Thank you for coming out to the stream. It was nice having ya. You should be able to ch uh, change your armor without or change your operator without losing anything your current operator has, including an exfil streak. Um, I can I, I can understand the exfil streak a little bit, but eh. Uh, what are the specs of my new PC, Ryzen 9 RTX? Um, it was, it's gonna be irresponsible for me to say. Uh, I was like, if I'm gonna stream, if I'm gonna, you know, take YouTube seriously and really go at this, I was like, I need like some of the best. So I got a 4080 Super, as well as the, uh, oh, we can get out of here. Ryzen 9, 7, uh, something. Uh, crap, I forgot. <laughs> it's the 7800 uh, X3D, I believe. It's like one of, it's like the top of the line processor right now. I've got 32 gigs of RAM, all the good stuff. DDR5, it's really nice. It's really nice. It's a really pretty case too. So very much overpriced, but uh, definitely worth it for what I have going. It edits a lot faster. It plays this a lot faster. Hopefully the stream looks nice and pretty for you. Uh, hopefully it all looks really nice. It's not lagging or anything, but uh, oh yes, I love this. Cool. Ooh, Mr. Spot TV, how's it going? Welcome. All right, let's go on and get over here. Just like that, we are crushing these tier two. Tier two might be the, um, dang it, we got this again. Another one of those. Uh, tier two might be the strat to level up your, uh, or to get cash and stuff because there's usually so many people. Oh, there's not anybody in tier three? You know what? I can confirm. I want to go to tier three here. Let's go ahead and do it. In fact, I think I want to go on top of here. Not to mooch off your stream, but if anybody wants to do tier 3 grind or help the Dark Aether, I'm more than happy to help. Absolutely. Um, in fact, I do have, this is a dangerous thing to say, I do have a Discord, uh, link in the description, and I would argue that the looking for players uh, chat in my Discord is like the most popular looking for players chat uh, that you'll find out there in the Discord realm. But I do ask of you, please read the rules. Uh, I, I treat that as like my backstage area, so that's kind of like a little bit higher expectation from you guys. Like read the rules, make sure you're keeping the looking for players chat in the looking for players and stuff. Uh, we've been having some, we've been getting better, but we're just trying to get everybody in the same, uh, in the right chat room because when you're in the discussion chat and somebody asks, hey, let's go do this, it's kind of disruptive, but you know, just, do your do your due diligence and everything and be respectful over there i ask of you of that so yeah how's it going zachary how's it going you have a set stream schedule <laughs> absolutely not uh i apologize uh, i do have a job outside of youtube and that takes up a lot of time and it's going to take up a lot more time uh recently or lately or upcoming i should say so i need to do my due diligence there and serve them but uh i definitely want to stream more often maybe some mondays maybe some tuesdays depending on what you guys like to see um, the end of the week is like the busiest part of my work, so that's probably not going to happen all too well, which is why also you guys don't see a lot of like, um, ooh, 
which is why you guys don't see a lot of I want that guy uh, content on the weekends it's because coming home and making a video on a Friday night or a Saturday is pretty pretty tough to do can you help me grind dark ether absolutely yeah okay did they change the red worm loot uh, uh, drop when you kill him because I got no wonder weapon cases anymore. Um, potentially, maybe? I need to buy some armor. What am I thinking, Donuts? Okay, alright. Um, I'm gonna decline that. I'm gonna get the 100 points from here. Never mind. Uh, what do I want? I want Deadshot for sure. I'll get all this. We're looking good. Cool. Yeah, we'll go up here, and then I think I'm gonna swing by this buy station real quick. I apologize. All the people, in the, or the two people on my team, if you guys can't handle tier 3, but no, we should be good. We're looking good here. And then I do want, okay, do I do have a juggernaut, which is awesome. That's all we need. Um, they, they might have changed. I think if you're talking about the red worm loot in terms of like, um, uh, like what it actually drops. I'm not entirely sure. I don't have too much experience with that. Um, can I? Oh, thank you. Da, da, da. That's a lot of perks in here that I don't need whatsoever. Let's do that. Ooh, I'll take that decoy for sure. Oh, this is, I think, one of the hardest parts for me about. Uh, not hardest parts, but the most annoying parts is just kind of like fiddling about in your inventory. I feel like, especially when you got like all these zombies on you, it's just kind of annoying. I wish there was a better way, but I don't think there is. <laughs> Deadshot spoiled me now I'm miserable playing multiplayer now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, let's get some more armor here. Kind of played up a little bit. I think that's good. That's good. Let's go ahead and get a couple more armor plates and we're looking good. Cool. Awesome. Go ahead and go do this raid weapons dash contract, and then I want to get a couple more sigils, and then hopefully we'll be ready for uh, Dark Aether, which is really nice. Awesome. Let's put on this decoy grenade. Let's throw this decoy grenade. Let's do this. Let's do this. Awesome. And then this should be pretty fun to do here. I, I, I don't do this very often. Oh, look at this box. Very good. Cool. This uh, Mega Abomination shooting me. That's great, isn't it? <laughs> we'll get this going in here. They've not changed the Red Worm loot. I did it 13 times over the last two days. Can confirm it's the same. Well, that is great to know. So glad I found your channel, because Tier 3 was the scariest thing to me at the time. Oh, absolutely. Uh, big help now. I'm a uh, crazy man, <laughs> madman running around Tier 3. Well, that's good to know, because I think um, it's funny. If you go back and you watch some of my old content, I don't go into tier 3 for like two weeks. The first two weeks that uh, Mono for Zombies is out, I don't go into tier 3. So I was very much on the same same board as you and, and Biebs and the people that I played Mono for Zombies with at the launch of the game. We were all in the same boat of like, no, we don't need to go into tier 3. We're okay. And then when we did, we were like almost having a heart attack. It was intense. It was scary. It was really fun. So I, I love that about just the zombie mode in general, how you can just get so much better and so much more confident once you get the strategies and the skills down it's it's really fun there's a bounty behind you yeah i like easy over fast sometimes especially in tier three. Oh man i need some more ammo we're gonna get low on ammo here there we go dog Ooh, double points oh i got that too early i got that too quick Let's go ahead. Yeah, this guy's got the right idea. Let's get this Mega Abomination down. This is this is rare. You guys saw last game with the Red Worm, we had so many people in Tier 3. Now we are the only ones, which is crazy. Your in-game graphics look so much better than most other streamers. Could you make a video about your game settings? Always fun watching you. Well, uh, luckily with my new PC, it's all just ult uh, ultra graphics it's all just high it's just the highest it can go so you know that's that's a positive thing about having the one of the fastest pcs you can buy <laughs> all right very good can we store an armor plate and let's go ahead and collect all of the things is that a wretchling that was cool do we get anything good no uh, i'm gonna get brain rot though gonna get armor plates here 
Rock sack full. Do I want to replace any of them? I think I do. I'll replace you. We'll look in here for any tools. And then obviously we can look in here. Look at that. A legendary haymaker. I don't think this is going to be any good, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> and two weapons is just always so much harder than one. All right. Let's go here. Pack a punch crystal. What else do we need? I think let's go ahead and do this contract. And then I think I'm trying to think here. I really only want two uh, Casimirs, two more Casimirs, because we've got the full party here. I think once we do this contract, I'm going to ping the Dark Aether, and then we'll see if these guys want to uh, want to make a run at it. Which is awesome. Cool. Where is this Mega Abomination at? It's way over here. It's always way over here for some reason. Oh, no, buddy. Get out of there. Get out of there. Hi, welcome to the stream. Oh, PC Specs. Yeah, I don't have that fancy of a stream yet. I apologize. I need to get some bots in here and everything. Let's see. Ooh, a turret circuit. Yeah, no, I'm going to take a turret circuit. I love me a good turret circuit. Welcome to the stream, everybody. You got 400 kills with wall by. Oh, you got to get 400 kills with a wall by for the 420 event. Oh, that's a bummer. I should. I need to put on armor here. Oh my goodness! I need to put on armor here. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I don't know about you. I know. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. Uh, I have had so many zombies and so. Wow, that guy went flying. Uh, so many zombies and so many uh, mega abominations. Just absolutely not path to me correctly like for some reason I don't know why I just like there's something wrong in the code that they are just not pathing properly uh, but oh my goodness look at all those zombies that's nuts all right come on oh we almost got him that's easy let's go come on get on up here oh we're low on ammo we're low on ammo um Let's throw a decoy here. Kind of let these guys go go at it here. I've got six bullets. You got it. You got it, Danster. You got it. Can we get him with the six bullets? Nope. All right. That's fine. Uh, Yep. Almost there. Almost got him. You got it. You got it. I got no ammo. Thank you. Very good. All right. You all can get the points. We've got Tombstone, a self-revive. Awesome. Cool. Um, That's a lot of zombies that I can't shoot right now. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, Well, this ain't great. I wish I had energy mine here. I think I'm gonna train them around for my uh, teammates to kill them. Maybe I can get some ammo. Yeah, there's some ammo over here. And oh, okay, all the zombies are gone. Sweet. Uh, let's go to the nearest buy station. Yeah, let's do it. And I think we can get out of here. I think so. Game is crashing a lot lately. I've noticed that too. I've definitely noticed a lot more instability in the servers lately. And I think you guys have seen it on the channel too. Um, just lagging out of games. When I go to the Dark Aether, it doesn't actually uh, go. It cancels the matchmaking, which is really sad. Um, but uh, very, very disappointing to see. Like I said, reminds me of Cold War Season 4. Cold War Season 4 was so laggy and glitchy and buggy. Oh, it's terrible. Still uh, chasing the Scorcher schematic. Yeah, a lot of people, when that Red Worm came out, there was a lot of people doing it every single game. And, like, now it's a little bit more rare. But uh, that's kind of the, uh, I guess, meta, you could say, that I've been noticing. Uh, is that uh, when a new thing comes out, be ready to, like, just jump in game with somebody. And it's like, oh, I've got an Elder Sigil. Do you want to do the the Elder thing? Yeah, sure, absolutely, you know? Oh, dang it, I just replaced my decoy grenades. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, so that's that's a good little pro tip. If uh, if it's a new season or something, just be ready. Ooh, dead shot, cool. Um, actually, I'm going to do the little trick here. Actually, am I? Let's, uh, um, let's go down. Yeah, I'm going to go... Over here, <laughs> I'm gonna get some more ammo. I'm gonna get refill there. I'm gonna look at this box. We got another turret circuit. I don't think I'm gonna need it, uh, but then I'm gonna do this, and I think we're gonna go. We're gonna be on our way. I do need more armor. I think I'm gonna drop 
something for more armor. I'm going to drop a self revive for more armor here. I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five. Oh, more than five. Oh, never mind. Uh, well, uh, there's some armor here. There's some armor here. And let's go ahead and get out of here. Okay, cool. Yep, let's go ahead and get out of here. Very good. We got ten. Okay, we made it. We made it. Woohoo. How many times have I killed the worm? Uh, I've killed the worm not as many times as you guys might think. Uh, <laughs> because I did kind of exactly what I said uh, just now. When the red worm first came out, and if somebody was doing it, even if I was camel grinding, even if I was doing something else with contracts or testing or even doing a video, like I remember doing a, uh, you know, how good is this weapon? Or a, uh, even a simple contract testing video where I was just like, oh, we're going to do some tier two contracts. And, oh, someone's doing the red worm. Absolutely. Zero to hero. Someone's doing a red worm. Well, let me go ahead and do uh, pack a punch three with a blue weapon. And uh, here you go. Here's the red worm. And I did it so many times. It was super, super fast, super, super easy. Um, uh, I've probably done it less than 10 times, but um, who? Let's go ahead and vote. Yes, very good. Beautiful. All right, let's get some hype in the chat. Let's get some excitement going. We are here. Elder Dark Ether, brand new one. Uh oh, RZ2, RZ2, where are you going? Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> First time seeing you live, Rebecca. How's it going? So excited. Yeah, favorite streamer. Wow, that's crazy because I haven't streamed in like a year, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Lamb, welcome to the stream. Trying to get into the Dark Ether and get these schematics. Absolutely. Let's go. Let's go. Blam. Yep. Get all the donuts in the chat. That's so great. You guys are awesome. And again, hopefully all you guys, like the sound's okay. The video's okay. Hopefully that's all looking good for you all. The Scorcher, you need it. Yes, absolutely. Hopefully we can get some good uh, schematics here. Um, Neville, how's it going? <laughs> Let's go. Hyped for a four minute dark ether run. Let's go. You hate this new dark ether. Controversial opinion. That's nuts. I I love this dark ether. It's really easy. I like it. Uh this is, the Discord channel is awesome for finding teammates, found of folks that we play together for often. Absolutely. Ooh. Nice. And I think this one looks more beautiful too. I think this one's good. Uh good. But the um everything sounds and looks great. Awesome, cool. Thank you. Uh, I think the new Dark Aether is going to be... Oh, Mega Abomination, let's go every time. I think the new Dark Aether might be my favorite because it has that brand new skybox and it has like... Uh, ooh, cool turret circuit. Let's do it. Turret circuit, let's go. Ooh. Uh-huh. Now I am going to, oh yeah, dude, dolphin diving in the dark ether. How, oh my goodness. Oh, bold. Oh, it's a bold. Oh, let's go. Okay. Um, 75 hit fire kills. I still haven't done that the whole stream. My goodness. Yeah, the, the new skybox looks insane. It looks like there's like a planet in the dark ether, which is just crazy. Um, I think these guys, I'm going to. I'm going to I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I think it's only fair. Uh we use my jug here. Oh my goodness, they're going. They're going in. Watch out guys. Watch out. You're going to be in danger. All right. Let's go do this. Yeah, how a helicopter gets in the dark ether. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll get it. Let's do it. Juggernaut or jug Juggernaut. Let's go. I feel like I always do that backwards. Love the turret startup sound. Absolutely me too. Oh, did someone else do a jug too? Are we just destroying this guy? Nah, oh, look at that. So, so good. Da -da -da. We've got this. I'll defend you guys as best as I can. No promises, though. I love the Juggernaut killstreak. This is so fun in zombies. Go, 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 go. Get out of here. Okay, cool. What's in here? What do I got? Ooh, the VR-11 case. I'll take that. VR-11, but no schematic, unfortunately. So, bummer. Cool. Mortar strike. I'll take a mortar strike because I got nothing else to do. Let's armor plate back up. I would love to take that crystal, but I'm not going to. So, cool. Awesome. No schematic, unfortunately. And I know a lot of people don't like the, the fact that schematics aren't guaranteed in, in the new Dark Aether, but I love it. It gives you a reason to come back to the new Dark Aether because once you're done with the first Dark Aether, it's kind of just like, well, all right, that's that, you know. 
<laughs> yeah, you hate the square XR guarantee. I love it because it is easier, but um, it's uh, it, it encourages you to keep coming back, and I and I like that. It is a little cheap, but that's kind of how the game is. The game's not necessarily cheap, but it uh, it's based on RNG and schematics and everything. So, oh, dude, that melee pickup is great. Let's go. This is the most dangerous street in zombies. This is crazy. Another thing I hate is command. Yeah, not guaranteed. Discord or whatever you like. Awesome. Sweet. Oh, let's, uh, okay. So for this first one, we've got two, four. Okay, this is going to be tough to do here. I don't have a decoy and I don't have very many things to distract zombies with, unfortunately. But hopefully through teamwork and... Uh, togetherness, we can we can overcome this Outlast contract. We're gonna keep one guy in here. I'm gonna actually get around here, kind of preemptively kill the zombies here. Been watching your videos for a few months now. Oh my goodness, RZ. That's all right. That's all right. Let's get you back on up. Uh, let's go ahead and throw a Casimir right away because it sounds like we're gonna need that right away. Plus, that'll refill my healing aura. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a tough one. This is gonna be a tough one. Oh boy, that's so many zombies. That is so many zombies. Oh boy. You guys are doing great in there. You guys are doing great. You're making great progress. You guys got this so well. Oh man. Was this was this supposed to be me helping the viewers or the viewers helping me? <laughs> Let's go. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's so many. There's so many. Train it. Train it around, Donuts. Train it around. Keep on moving, keep on moving. Oh, I think they're distracted by the, uh, oh boy, they're distracted by the dog, which is great. Do I have a dog? No, I gave the dog away. That makes sense. There's a mangler on the way. We're still making progress. I'm trying to distract him. That's what I'm doing. I'm distracting him from out here. <laughs> yep, all these thermites. I'm going to actually thermite this mangler that just spawned in back over here. Or this, uh, oh yeah, there's a couple of them. Cool. And there you go. Disciple, can you just stand really still for me? Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's take care of these zombies. Let's see if we have any schematics for these guys. Four. Okay, good. All right, we're good. We're chill. Let's armor plate back up. Let's get all the armor plates that we can. Uh, holy guacamole. That's the best loot I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my goodness. What in the world? Um, yeah. Let's do that. VR11 plans. Let's do that. Uh, I'm going to drop them over here for you, boy. Let's do that. VR11. That's VR11 plans. Very good. I'll take that epic ether tool. That was a really good loot chest, wasn't it? I'm telling you guys. It just happens to me. It's not edited. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Is there anything else I want in here? VR11 case. I already got one. Shatter Blast. We'll do Shatter Blast. Why not, right? Cool. Sentry gun? Nah, I don't want a sentry gun. We're gonna keep on moving. Keep on progressing. I'm gonna go down this hall over here. We only got nine minutes left. Don't have golden armor plates, but thanks for the help. Absolutely. <laughs> Flawless. Nice. Absolutely. We got one more to go, and it's the easiest one. In my opinion, it's, it's the easiest one. Oh, very good. I love this little thing here. Uh, I need to, one of my things that I need to do is uh, go to the old Dark Aether and do kind of like a walkthrough like I did for this Dark Aether. I think that was really beneficial both for, for me and for everybody to, uh, to understand where things are at and uh, how to best navigate the space. Alright, there we go. Let's get more armor plates. They've got that guy. Cool, cool, cool. I think I'm going to try and go up the road a little bit here. Maybe we can pull this off and work our way. But the buildings won't render. Oh, that's that's a horrible, horrible glitch. I know that happens fairly often here. Let's go ahead and do this. Awesome. We'll do that. Oh, that's so, oh, that's so bad that his buildings won't load. I'm going to go ahead and do this one next because of the fact it has a mangler in it and I want to take care of him rather quickly and then I'll throw down a Casimir and then I will do this very good 
help Blam get the schematics. Unfortunately, not today, but definitely maybe sometime in the future. That's something that we are, uh, <laughs> not we, I am thinking about. I love this sort of thing. It's kind of nice because you can engage with everything in here and, uh, and help people out too and connect with you guys. So this was really, really fun. But uh, we got it. Let's go see. Reward Rift and Mags of Holding. Let's go. And I got this. Let's go ahead and come over here to a safer spot. Mags of Holding. There you go. I think that's the one he was after. I think that's the one he was after too, which is really, really nice. Let's do that. Reward Rift. Legendary or an epic ether tool. I'll take that. Look at that. That is great. Oh, of course. We got the same schematics too. Cool. Oh, my goodness. No. All right, dog's picking him up. We should be fine. And that is all I'm going to do this round. We've got two schematics, two. And, and the only schematic we didn't get, ironically, is the blood burner schematic, which is the useless schematic. So that was awesome. So really, really good. Let's get some, uh, I don't know, I guess donuts in the chat, something for celebrating this. This is really great. We did it. And now we just need to exfil here. I've got no more Casimirs, which is unfortunate. We got three armor plates, though. New SMG is goaded. Absolutely. New SMG is great. And we are not even going to hesitate. We are just going to exfil right like that. Beautiful. We did it. Completed it. Donuts in the chat. Use your special. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I went down. Uh-oh. I hope... Oh no, someone else went down. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, did I leave the Danster? The Danster, get out of there. Did I leave them with zombies? Oh no, this might be the worst ending of this. Oh no, get out of there. Get out of there, use the other one. <laughs> I'm all hyping you guys up. No, we need to spectate. We need to spectate, get out of there. Oh no, oh no. You just gotta, you just gotta exfil guys. You just gotta exfil. Danster, you gotta get out of there. <laughs> oh no, I hope you made it out, Dan. Oh no. Well, ah, uh, you know, helping those subscribers out. <laughs> Ultimate betrayal. Oh, I said, I'm done. I'm out of here. All right, I washed my hands of that. That was it. That was all done. Wow. <laughs> you should have waited for them to exfil well first. Definitely should have. Yes. Adrian, why are we not getting uploads on Minecraft? I know, I know. It's just no time. I got no time. Uh, if I did this full time, I think I would definitely do some Minecraft on the side. But now I'm just full on zombies. I just want to focus on this. I definitely, I'm itching to play Minecraft. The new 1.21 is just looks great. The new paintings. Ah, oh, I love it. <laughs> what a donut. It wouldn't be a donut video uh, with a, uh, out a little bit of, of donut in there. But hey, I think this is our highest... Yeah, it's our highest uh, containment level here, so that's awesome. This guy got reset somehow, uh, but I'm doing pretty good. 180, I'm happy with that. We got this amazing run right here. Really, really fun. We always do roll call at Xville. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, not going to lie, watch your guide on the Dark Ether and help me get in and out with a dog bone. Very nice. Very good. Should have tagged the Xville for them. Yeah, definitely should have. They were right behind me. I could have sworn they were right behind me. I know that's cliche, but uh, I swear, they were right behind me when I was last looking. <laughs> oh, man. That was a great run for me. I really hope I really hope they made it out of there. <laughs> Dan, uh, Danster, uh, I, I guess I'm the only one in my party, but Danster, RZ, I hope, um, I hope you made it out. I might message you later. I apologize. <laughs> but thank you all so much for coming out here. Um, was I guess this was a good time to stream here. But uh, yeah, this was really fun. This was really fun for me. I don't know when the next one will be. I want to make it more consistent. I want to make it happen at least monthly. I want to get a podcast, a live stream, some shorts in there. Kind of make a good variety channel here of all zombie content. So can I show my story missions? Uh, absolutely. It's all done. It's all done. I got all my story missions done. Uh, really cool. Uh, this was unfortunate because I, I love this little... I know this is kind of tedious and remedial, but it was actually fun to complete these and get the schematics through this way. So, yeah, it was really good. A Dark Warrior Plays sent over $2. Thank you, Dark Warrior. I appreciate that. That's super, super generous of you all. Um, but, unfortunately, it's pretty late at night for me. 
So I'm going to have to call it here. I've got a lot of work to do tomorrow. I got a podcast to record and everything. One more. Unfortunately, we can't. We don't have time. Uh, and I liked the two games. I think the two games have worked out pretty well. Uh, I wish I could help more. I wish we could get a group of like five or six going in here. All going into the Dark Ether. All going into the Wed Worm. That would be awesome. My favorite donation right here. <laughs> oh, man. Cool. Awesome. Well, you need Act 2 Story at... at advanced um or advice yeah that last one i did do a video on that a while ago um i might need to revisit some of these guys and kind of go through all of them and see the best strategies and whatnot because these ones are actually really fun i and i think um i think i have a interesting perspective as to why but anyway more esoteric stuff we'll get out of here but say it one last time thank you all thank you all every single one of you who donated i wish i could t like thank you guys all individually here um I don't think I even have it. Let's go ending stream. Yeah, uh, there's the live chat. There's all my other donators uh, just chatting here. Hey, look, that's you over there. Hey, isn't that nice? Uh, man, it's been a while since I streamed. But yeah, look at that. Cool. Well, um, what's this? Okay, gameplay. Look at that. Look at that. I'm so professional all the time. Look at that. Cool. Awesome. Well, appreciate all of you guys. Thank you for coming out. Like the stream if you uh, haven't already. And uh, until the next beautiful zombies morning, I'll catch you guys later. And as always... Check out this video, because I'm going to put an end screen on here, a little behind the scenes. This video, and stay beautiful.